And everybody, today it is time to play the wonderful game of Super Smash Brothers Brawl. We were playing this yesterday. I see we have Tenth Doctor in here saying, um, Isabel for Smash plus Animal Crossing for Switch, because my title says it's going to be uh, Skull Kid, I believe. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Skull Kid, if I had to guess. I mean, like, I think Gino's likely as well. But if I gotta be like really real, it's gonna be it's gonna be Skull Kid, man. It has to happen. I don't know what his moveset's gonna be, but like I'm sure they'll figure it out. Yeah, Animal Crossing for Switch? That would be nice. Like legit? You know, it has to happen eventually. They can't just not have Animal Crossing for Switch forever. There's so many other games as well, like obviously we got uh, Yoshi. Yeah, the Yoshi game is uh, not out yet, so I'm sure they'll talk about that in the direct that's happening tomorrow. And then uh, Fire Emblem as well, which you know was pushed back to 2019. <laughs> You'll continue saying it was paid. I mean, if you guess, oh, whoops, that's how I killed myself last time. Whew. Thankfully, I got knocked onto this platform. But uh, what was I gonna say? I mean, yeah, if you guess Animal Crossing for the Direct every single time, you'll eventually just be right. Like, that's just how guessing works. Like, there's no way they'll never, ever, ever make one. <laughs> nice, I like having the badge. Just reflects the attack. Oh, can I not fall through that platform? Oh, that works. Yo, don't fight me. I reflect projectiles. Aren't you scared? <laughs> he jumped to his death! Not to say I didn't see that option coming. And yo, Brain Sapper says, I need to work on my Xenoblade Chronicles 2 file so close to finishing. Now, Elma curb stomped you again last night? Yo, rip, man. I haven't played any of the DLC. But yeah, a lot of people have been talking about uh, Elma. And supposedly the fight with her is like really hard. Sounds cool to me, man. The more tough fights there are, the better. Because, like, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, like, in my opinion, you get so many, like, really interesting tools and, like, ways to fight. And you don't really get all of them until, like, the end of the game. Which is ridiculous, in my opinion. I think you should have access to everything, you know? Like... At, at minimum, halfway into the game. Minimum. Like, nope. We don't want to confuse anybody. Let's make sure we only have the tiniest of things implemented. Every once every, I don't know, five? No, eight hours. <laughs> no. That's awful. Doctor says, or maybe I won't like if you're talking about DLC. I haven't gotten to it yet. I mean, I can't say anything about the DLC. I haven't played it yet. I don't know anything about it. I don't know anything outside of, uh... What's it called? I don't know, just random things. Like, I was mostly complaining about my playthrough of the game more than I was talking about the DLC. Because, again, I can't say anything about the DLC. I, I don't know what it is. I haven't played it. I mean, I know there's, like, Shulk and, uh, What's-Her-Face. They're, like, DLC. But I don't know anything about it, I just know that they're DLC. There's, like, a harder mode. I saw you and, uh, Doomsday stream that. Fiora? Yeah, that's her name. That's her name. See? Aw, oh, jeez, I don't want to die! <laughs> no! Aw, oh, I just went flying, man. Uh, Chigo says, what is this game? Is this single player for Smash 4? This is the single player for, um, Smash Brothers Brawl. The third one? Super Smash Brothers 4 doesn't have a single player mode, unfortunately. I wish it did. It'd be really cool. You know, I assume that, uh, we'll be getting actual single player content for, uh, Smash Switch when that comes out. I wonder if they'll talk about that in the Direct tomorrow, or if that'll still be too early. I was like, I expect them to talk about Smash. I expect them to talk about Pokemon Let's Go, Yoshi, Fire Emblem, and then like, is there anything else that like... Oh yeah, there's that like mech game, right? 
I'm pretty sure there's a mech game that's coming out on Nintendo Switch. I don't remember what it's called. Yeah, they're getting a mech game, so they'll probably talk about that too some more, I guess. That's what the, you know, <laughs> the lamer directs do. They just kind of go over the games we already know about. Yeah, we're getting that Nintendo Direct tomorrow. Oh, is this where I need to be? <laughs> no, my Pikmin aren't here! They didn't make it! Yo, Pikmin, come on, man. I kind of need you guys to attack. Can't just be leaving me behind like that. Actually, I gotta fight all these guys. Uh oh, and the walls are closing in. That's less than ideal. Are we good? Um, one freedom for Olimar, please. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, uh, really like the actual upkeep he has in the other games, man. Ah, oh, key. I was like, I figured something had to be here. I didn't know what it was gonna be. Apparently that was what it was. <laughs> Yo, they are glitching out so hard. Uh-oh. That's so sad, dude. They don't want to do it. They just can't stop themselves. this technology come from anyways? Ganondorf's not exactly well known for his technological prowess. Alright, let's go Rob. Yo, DK, Samus, Pikachu? <laughs> no Pikachu? Why? Why don't I get to play as Pikachu? That's weird. He's there, but they won't let me choose him. Alright, bring it on, guys. I ain't scared. Ouch. Alright, let's see. Are any of his moves different from how they are in uh, Smash 4? That seems all the same so far. No, don't throw things at me, that's rude. So rude, jeez. Wrong with you people. <laughs> yo, controller said, yo, Vinx, what's good, man? Get good at this game. Also, I just started playing some ranked matches and Super Body and Abigail, he got super salty and cut connection right after I won. Oh, that's hilarious, dude. Yo, that's awesome, man. Yo, you should be beating all them scrubby Abigails. You have no reason to lose to them. You've been playing against you know, a gold Abigail. No reason to be losing to... <laughs> well, I guess you'd be playing bronze opponents? I don't know if you play against other rookies or if they put you straight against uh, bronze. Because if I remember right, like, the uh, threshold for rookie is very small. Yeah, either way, congratulations on that, man. Good stuff. Oop, I ran into big powers. Yo, get out of here. Nope, <laughs> don't let them get big. Oh, that's a lot of birds. Uh, Control says, yeah, the first fight was close, but uh, then he never got me close to dead after that. Yo, that is legit, man. Yo, did you uh, practice your combos? I know you said you were going to on Discord, but did you do it? I am curious. 
We've been fighting uh, only rookies. We got uh, one against a brand new Ryu and Akuma and uh, Abigail. Okay, okay. Yo, so you played a couple of matches, huh? Yo, nice stuff, man. Oh, jeez. Big old robot. You mind? <laughs> Don't forget Isaac tomorrow? Yo, man. That would be that would be really interesting. I don't think Isaac is impossible. Far from it. Cause it's like he's one of the characters on the ballot, man. He's right there, right next to Gino, Skull Kid. They're all there. Oh, he's so big. Like I can't hit him properly. He needs to be less big. That would be nice. No, don't get- no! Whew. That was, uh, that was close. He almost got away. Do you mind, you stupid bro- Oh, that broke my shield? He shot a projectile and it knocks me out, man! Oh, and there goes DK. No. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, Samus was way better at hitting that guy. Yo, who came in to see me playing Rob? Yes, we were playing Rob. And, uh, Catrolli says, I practice a bit. I used one of them, or at least part of one of them, when you stun the Akuma. Crouching heavy punch. Uh, the two kicks, two punch V-scale. Nice! Yo, let's go, dude. Yo, that's legit. Getting those, uh, real damaging combos. Uh, Brain Sapper says, Something tells me Smash Ultimate's final roster will resemble those Dream Fighters roster lists on gaming forums you'd see in the mid-2000s. I know, right? Oh, man, because, like, I remember, you know, when, like, Melee was coming out and everybody's like, Oh, such and such is going to be in the game, and, oh, they'll add this guy, this will totally be real for the next Smash Brothers, like, even before, you know, Brawl was announced. Like, he had all these random characters people wanted. They wanted Sora, they wanted Cloud, they wanted Ryu. Uh, who else did they want? I mean, there were some people that wanted, like, Villager, but, like, that one was, like, <laughs> you're so silly. Um, what else was there? But, yeah, nah, man. Pretty much, oh, yeah, like, Sonic the Hedgehog, Snake, uh, Geno, King K. Roll, Ridley, and all those characters... Or at least most of them are all there. Like, Sora's not there. Sora didn't happen. Balloon Fight Guy didn't happen. Excite Bike didn't happen. But, like, a lot of those things that, like, everybody was so sure were going to be in Smash, most of them are there. Now, uh, Controlius says, um, uh oh, it does a lot of spikes. Um, the combo was supposed to start with jump in heavy punch, standing medium punch. But I didn't want to risk range after the medium punch because you've been having issues with that during practice. Yes, no, that makes plenty of sense. Because it's like you ha when you're doing the jump in heavy punch, like you need to be in that character's model. Or when you go for the uh, next two hits after that, they'll be pushed a little too far away. But yeah, I completely understand. Though, if you do just, um, just one into the other, that shouldn't be too bad. Because like... The full combo, if you're doing the full, like, most powerful version of the combo, it would be jumping heavy punch. Oh my goodness, I can't fall through the platform. Yeah, jumping heavy punch, uh, crouching heavy punch, crouching medium kick, because yes, it does link combo after the crouching heavy punch. And then, yeah, the two kicks, two punches V skill. But yeah, now the timing between crouching heavy punch and uh, crouching medium kick is, like, super tight. That and, again, the positioning. So, like, if you're not just right, it's not going to work. But, yeah, you could just do crouching heavy punch... Or, er, uh, jumping heavy punch, crouching heavy punch. Uh, two kicks, two punches, V skill. And that should work, like, ten times out of ten. And it shouldn't be too bad. But, yeah. You know, you gotta, you gotta start somewhere. You gotta start somewhere. We don't we don't press all the buttons in every combo. Not so much. And it's funny, like, you know, I've been playing the game for a long time and I know some really long combos. But like the combos that are helping me win my games against Vexatious are like the baby combos. It's just how, you know, fighting games are, man. Sometimes it's the baby combos that make the difference. And yo, Brain Sapper says, I remember I was playing Mario Kart DS back in 2006 one day. 
You were playing as Rob and you remember thinking, what if he's in the next Smash? And dismiss that thinking it would be stupid. <laughs> Yo, that's hilarious. Yeah, no, man, like, um... I actually played, uh, Mario Kart DS before I played Mario Kart Wii- or Super Smash Brothers for Wii. Oh, I gotta fight Ridley? Well, I gotta be Samus. Like, let's- <laughs> let's be real here. But yeah, no, man. Like, I never saw the Rob coming. It just wasn't gonna happen. And Vizzo says, I'm here on time! Yo, you did it, Invisal. How you doing, man? Nice to see you. Oh, him just hitting the ship in 23% of my health. Feels bad, man. Oh, I love Samus. Like, I don't like how she controls. I think she's way too floaty. But just as a character, I really like her. She was my main in 64 in uh, Melee, man. Yo, coolness factor will definitely do it for me. Yo, you're going down, Mr. Ridley. Ow, she's <laughs> not by Salmus's hands. Oh, that was that was uh, pretty OP. You're not making that one up, Brain Sapper? No, that's cool, man. I believe you. I don't see any reason why you would uh, make it up. Oh, give me that sword. Ouch. Oh, his attacks are so strong, man. Come on, he's so close. You could. Oh, yeah, give me the fire curry. That'll do it. That'll finish this guy off. There it is. What I tell you. Um, and Katros says, dude, I watched his final combos in the training. It's absolutely nuts. 500 plus damage. Oh, man, yes. Yeah, that's too much. Yo, goodbye, Island. Herder <laughs> Ridley is too big in Smash. No oh, man, Ridley's far too big to get in as a playable character. It's not possible. Yeah, no nah, man, Ridley. Ridley was one of my like first assumptions for a newcomer in uh, Smash Ultimate. I mean, we got Inklings first, but right after Inklings, we got Ridley. My next guess was King K. Roll, and my guess after that was Simon Belmont, and we ended up getting those in the reverse order. But yeah, in the same direct, we got both the characters I was calling then. Now the question is, am I going to be right again? Is the next character going to be announced tomorrow? And are they going to be Skull Kid? I feel like Skull Kid has to happen. Though again, there's other characters I think are likely as well. I feel like, um... Yeah, after Skull Kid, like Gino, Isaac, I feel like they're just as likely. Unfortunately, I think Bandanity is also just as likely. I'm not a huge fan of the character, but I think he's just as likely as anybody else. You want Banjo? Yo, Banjo is possible. I don't think he's as likely as, like, say, uh, Skull Kid. But yeah, no, I'd say Banjo is just as likely as Gino is. Kazooie? Yeah, you have to have Kazooie. If Kazooie's not part of the character, it's pointless. I don't want Banjo if Kazooie's not there, too. It has to be Banjo and Kazooie. Uh, Vex says, Vinx, I beat an Abigail so bad, twice, two separate sets, they disconnected on character select when he matched with me for a third time. Yo, rip, dude. Rest in peace. I mean, it is what it is. You know the matchup. It's like that's how uh, that's how a lot of Abigails get by. Is like people don't know the matchup. But nah, man. Nah, it's not. It's not gonna work like that. And yo, dashing Drew with the host. Yo, thanks so much, man. Hostile takeover. Yo, let's go. Yo, how's everybody doing coming in from dashing Drew rude stream? Saw y'all playing uh. The Street Fighter V with Vega. Yeah, no, man. Bopped a couple of people was good stuff. We finally got a win? Yo, let's go, man. Nah, you were, you were doing really good, man. It was like, yeah, you're super rusty. You're coming back into the game and it's like, you know, you're at gold rank, so you're playing against these other gold players. And you're still, you know, fighting on even ground? That's legit.
Got a Geef trying to be cute? Yo, man. Yo, Zangief scares me. Cause like, I'll always go into the match, I'm like, oh, I'll be fine. Zangief can't do nothing. I'll just outrange him. And next thing I know, he gets a knockdown and then he grabs me and he grabs me again. And then he dizzies me cause I was trying to jump out of the next grab but it wasn't a grab that time. Oh man. All right, who am I gonna play to beat the boss? Yo, let's get Samus in there. Let's get Zelda. Yo, cause yeah, we have so many characters to choose from. Let's get Fox and yo, we have to be Meta Knight, right? I would choose Ike too, but I only get four characters. If he has the range for him, you just can't get got. Yup, yup. Oh, it's tough, man. Cause like with Abigail, I outrange everything Zangief can do. Everything he can do, I can outrange it. And uh, also, like his like super armor stuff, I can just uh, jab jab through all of that. So I beat all of his approaches mostly just by jabbing. Like I can catch him out of the air, I can break his super armor, I can just hit a lot of his uh, limbs that he tries to throw out. There's so much I can do to Zangief. But man, if he gets in one time, oh, that could be the end of it. That could be the end. Those Zangief's men, especially in gold now. You know, I'm starting to get wrecked. Control says, dude, Zangief has to be close. Makes me unhappy how close he has to be. I mean, you say that, but have you seen the range of his EX command throw, dude? I swear he'll just grab you from, like, tomorrow. Like, how? How even? I mean, he needs that. Like, he needs to be able to grab from that far away, but oh my goodness. No, nah, man. Especially if you try to, like, throw out a limb, and he can just command grab that, too. So, like, he has it tough, for sure. Like, Zangief does not have it easy. But he has his gimmicks. He has his tricks. And let's see, uh, you should practice up and come to the Kumite. Well, my friend is coming from VA to go with me as well. Oh, uh, wh where is this? What is what is taking place? Because I think I heard you talking about it a bit, but I didn't know exactly what it uh, uh, was at all. So, like, all right, something's going on. Oh, nice. I didn't think I'd destroy him that fast. Yo, get out of here, little buddy. Oh, and I get a heal? Am I going to get the new Smash Brothers? Oh, definitely. Absolutely. And yo, we got the first trip of the day, guys. Good old Super Smash Brothers Brawl. We want to not trip around. Oh, jeez. Why all the big guys? And I'm dead. I was stuck in shield. I couldn't do anything. You know, I don't understand the circle enemy because it doesn't have any health left anymore. But it's not, like, going away. Oh, there we go. Finally. Jeez. Uh, Umite Banks? Like the bad Jean-Claude Van? I haven't watched that at all. No. Oh, I have a b bomb in my hands! Okay, they saved me. <laughs> Good job, enemies. Alright, how many kicks does it take? <laughs> More than two. Yeah, no, I didn't know what that was at all. Bloodsport is such a good movie. It's a classic. Yo, fair enough. I've definitely never watched this movie, but I will be playing uh, the next Smash Brothers game, man. Like, I'm getting back into fighting games. I'm having a lot of fun with them. I'm playing Street Fighter V, like, really hard right now. Like, I've been playing that game, like... Like, I've maybe missed a day here or there, but for the past three weeks, I've been playing that game almost, like... I'd say two hours a day, minimum. It's been a lot of fun. Oh my goodness, will you just be defeated, you stupid thing? How many forward smashes does it take? I don't understand. Alright, maybe I should beat this guy first. Alright, there we go, there we go. He's opened up, and he's gone. I don't know why that took so long, that was weird. The scrubs are taunting me? I was very taunted. Oh, we made it, dude. <laughs> I was, uh, I wasn't in too good a position. Yo, you're gonna watch that movie too? Yo, watch all of the movies. Oh, what's this? What's this link, Controlius? <laughs> oh, that's Bloodsport? Oh, okay. Uh, 
Oh snap! Master Hand was just a puppet all along! Boo has revealed himself. I was so confused as a kid, man. I was like, Taboo? Who's that guy? And I just assumed he was another, like, of the, like, 500 Kid Icarus enemies I didn't know about because I never played Kid Icarus. Well, that's a training montage? Oh, okay. Yo, why does Taboo know Protect? Way too OP. But don't worry! It's us! The guys! We're here to save the day! Uh-oh. He's going final form on us. You're not supposed to pull your wings out and go final form right away. Oh rip. Well, there's so much for us. Uh, Legend saying, I'm um, just popping in, and I find it very funny that the Skull Kid Assist Trophy is missing from Ultimate. <laughs> yeah, that's my title, man. Skull Kid Next Character. That's gonna be my call. I could be wrong, but yeah, no, man. I think Skull Kid is very likely to be in Smash Ultimate. Whether he'll be the next one announced, I don't know. But like, we already got Ridley, we got King K. Roll, we got Simon Belmont. I'm just going down the pole, man. I think Skull Kid is the most likely character that's left on the character ballot. I mean, it's completely Nintendo owned. Um, it would give uh, Young Link his own dedicated villain instead of, you know, Link, uh, Toon Link, Young Link, uh, Zelda, Sheik, all of them just having one enemy and, uh, what's his face, Ganondorf? And it gives Zelda an actual new representative, you know? Because, like, it just doesn't make any sense, man. They're gonna give uh, Donkey Kong a new character. Uh, give uh, Samus, you know, Metroid series a new character, like, all these other characters. Why not, why not Zelda? They haven't had a new character in far too long, man. Because, like, Toon Link and Young Link are, like, the same character, practically. Controller says, I'm not sure Skull Kid has the moveset. Of course, I've been proven wrong before. Yeah, no, I don't believe anymore in not having a moveset. I just don't believe in that. Like, I've seen, I've seen Villager get a moveset, I've seen Wii Fit get a moveset. Like, if Sakurai wants to give the character a moveset, they'll have one. It's simple as that. He'll figure it out. You know, Ganondorf came into the game being a Captain Falcon, uh, clone. Anything can happen, man. Yeah, you saw it with, like, Ridley, too. They're like, oh, Ridley, he doesn't even have enough moves for a moveset. Oh, I'm super dead. 0% feels bad, man. But yeah, nah. Uh, Ridley came on in. He had plenty of moves just fine, if you ask me. Uh, Super Sense Slayer says, Skull Kid, Gino, Isaac, Isabel, uh, and Echoes Like Shadow and Kin. Only time will tell who's joining the fray. Yep, only time will tell, man. Yeah, I think Skull Kid's the most likely out of all of those. Um, Gino and Isaac, I think, are just as likely. Um, Isabel? I don't know about Isabel. Because, like, on the one hand, it would make sense because of how successful Animal Crossing is. And if they were to announce an Animal Crossing game, you know, this would be perfect, right? They could be like, oh yeah, here's the new Animal Crossing game for Switch. And then they can show us all this stuff about it. And then at the very end, you know, switch it over to being uh, Smash Brothers. And we might not notice because it'll still be Animal Crossing. And we'll be like, oh, this is an interesting cutscene. What's going on in Animal Crossing? We're like, nope, it's Smash Brothers. Isabel's here to save the day. Or... I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know what Isabel does. But I think it's possible. And yeah, I do hope that uh, if Isabel's in, she's her own character instead of being another Echo Fighter. But it's like, they can't put in everybody. So I, I get that. You know, work with what you got. Uh, they're going villains, Akuma as an Echo over Luigi. <laughs> you mean Ken? You abandoned Lucas? Oh, did I? Rip, I didn't see him. <laughs> Lucas! Lucas, where are you at? Isn't there like a map button? I could have sworn there was a map button. 
Lucas, where'd you go, buddy? Ouch. Do y'all mind? I am looking for my friends. Oh, there's Ike. But where's Lucas? Hmm. Is it further back? Go back through the door? Oh, okay. Oh, yep, there he is. <laughs> Just sitting right there. Let's go, Lucas. Coming with me. So yeah, no, man. Very, very excited to see who's next. Yeah, who are the other characters? Yeah, I don't think Akuma's gonna happen. I don't think so. I mean, like, the whole idea isn't necessarily villains so much as it is rivals. And, I mean, Akuma is a rival, but I think, you know, to really be, you know, with the Echo Fighter vibe and truly, like, the rival of rivals for Ryu, it has to be Ken. But again, I don't know if that'll happen. Oh man, I think it's a shame that uh, Proto Man isn't getting in as a uh, Echo Fighter. That would have been really cool. Wait, am I going the right way? That this is definitely backwards, but I didn't see anywhere else to go. Oh, up here. I see. I see. You know, if y'all could just like back off my face, that'd be real cool. I don't appreciate you guys. I think you're actually really lame. It's nothing against you. It's a me thing. Pin should come first? Exactly. Rivals know they're straight up villains? Well, if you would re-watch the direct, I'm pretty sure they say rivals. And even if they don't, the Japanese one says rivals. It doesn't say villains, it says rivals. And that's why Meta Knight is the rival for Kirby. Because he's not a villain, he's a rival. Yeah, King K. Roll, Bowser, and Ganondorf, those are villains. Yeah, Rivals allows them to do a lot more, man. Bow to Dell. Um, where am I going? Around, I guess. Nakuma wouldn't be an Echo since he's different from Ryu and Ken. I mean, honestly, you know, I don't think that holds any water. Like, just look at, uh, what's his face? Richter Belmont and Simon Belmont. Like, Simon doesn't have the moves he's using. Those are Richter's moves. And what do you know? <laughs> Richter is the Echo Fighter of him. You can do whatever you want. Like, there's no... Nothing's cemented here. I walked right past Diddy. I didn't see Diddy. And left the door unopened. Do I have to do all the doors? Can I just fight Taboo and win? Oh, I have to fight Bowser? Okay. Bring it on, Bowser. He's ready for the literal best character ever to save the day? <laughs> oh, what, DDD? He's alright, I guess. Oh yeah, I'm, like, slightly OP. Do you mind? I'm trying to chain grab. <laughs> Oh, that's silly. Come here. <laughs> no, you're supposed to just get chain grabbed forever, Bowser. What's wrong with you? So rude. <laughs> that's so dumb. That grab is disgusting. Yeah, that's Brawl, man. Brawl is disgusting. <laughs> Oh man, such sad times. Now, now, Bowser. Realize that you got bots. We're done now. Shut up. <laughs> what? Master Hand's knocked down. This is my bus. Oh, rip. <laughs> We're all confirmed balanced. <laughs> Yo, it's the best. Some characters just automatically lose at character select. Luigi joined the team. Ness joined the team. Bowser joined the team. King DDD joined the team. Oh, but Taboo's right there. Can I just go fight him, please? I don't wanna. I wanna go back across the map. I don't have to do that, right? 
let me let me fight him. Oh, Kirby's good to go. <laughs> oh, he had one of the badges. <laughs> you love DDD flicking uh, Bowser on the nose? Yeah, it's cute. Or Diddy, no Diddy for you? Whoops. Forgot about Diddy, but we'll be okay. I don't think I need Diddy. Yo, Princess Peach, you're coming with me as soon as I get up the platform. There we go. <laughs> Yo, look, we don't need Diddy. Diddy's overrated, man. Aha, I got across. Yo, what was that magnet ledge snap over there? Was not trying to go that way. Oh my goodness, you guys are so annoying. Go somewhere. Oh, we need Meta Knight. If we have Meta Knight, we win. Yeah! I didn't want to run into the bombs. Wait, I'm not missing someone down there, am I? Nope, just a box. Nope, get my trophy. Look, it's another good character Banks will ignore. Wait, what? No, I got Meta Knight. Meta Knight easy peasy, man. Alright, who's next? Who wants to join the wonderful Kirby adventure? Oh, Link. Yeah, we need Link. Oh, Yoshi? Eh, I'm not a huge Yoshi fan, but he's right there. I'll pick him up. Oh, hey, Lucario. What up, bucko? Huh. Did I get the guy, or did I destroy him? There was a guy right there, wasn't there? Oh, guess we're going this way. <laughs> Bye, Captain Falcon. <laughs> Rest in peace. Captain Falcon's not too bad. I wouldn't have minded having, uh, you know, him join the party. I did, in fact, get Meta Knight. Yo, we need Meta Knight. Meta Knight's important. If Meta Knight, you win the game for free. That's how it works. I don't know how to do the, like, infinite dimension case, though. I wish I did. I'm sure that would be useful. <laughs> Just ran right by him? Huh. He must have been real sneaky, that Captain Falcon. I mean, it makes sense, man. He's a, a F-Zero pilot. Really? It was right there! And now it's a trophy? Yeah, sure. Sure, video game, sure. Nah, I don't, I don't buy that one. I don't buy it. Sneaky hiding in the middle of the stage. Yeah, man, he probably had a box just like Snake. You can't beat that. That was just a box. Who's there? Oh, just a box. Yo, get out of here, you dumb enemies. You're not, you're not a fight. You're wasting my time. Was oh, that Mr. Saturn? Power of Mr. Saturn, I cannot be defeated. Yo, y'all don't even know what to do. Yo, how do you have so much health, my guy? Yep, oh, <laughs> I threw Mr. Saturn off the edge. He'll be okay. Um, everyone is here except for Diddy and Captain Falcon? Yeah, rip, man. Yeah, even Rob's here. And, uh, Legend says, And what I skimmed through from both the E3 reveal and the August 8th Direct, Skull Kid was not present. You're right, Banks. Very real chance. Yeah, no, I would not have uh, called Skull Kid if he was an assist trophy. That would be that would be dumb. But yeah, nah. I mean, they could deconfirm him, but I think there's a reason they haven't, and I think it's because he's in the game. I missed the whole room. I didn't want to go in that room. That room is for squares. I'm a cool kid. Ow, what? My shield, he just shot right through it. He just didn't even care, man. Feels real bad, dude. Yo, leave me alone. I am a Kirby that just wants to live in peace. I just like to eat delicious things. Up, oh, I tripped. Whoops, there we go again. Whoopsie doopsies. Whoopsie doopsies. Owl, do you mind? I gotta get rid of that giant thing. 
<laughs> but he keeps knocking me away with his stupid eye lasers. Ow. I'm a coming for you. Aha! Cannot be avoided. How much health do you have? There we go. We missed a few rooms. You're it. And uh, Patrol says I would uh, thoroughly like Banjo and Kazooie to be in the game. I don't know if I've mentioned it. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, you might have. You might have. But yeah, no, I, I think they have a chance. <laughs> oh, he's really not happy with Ganondorf. Hey man, he got turned into a statue just like everybody else. <laughs> Aw, DD and Kirby are friends. I like that, man. Like in uh, Kirby 64 Crystal Shards. Because it's like, up till then, you're always like, he's always that uh, enemy. But in that game, like, they fight alongside each other, like, pretty much the whole game. You know, I appreciate that about Ganondorf. Like, he gets woke up by Link, and he doesn't even, you know, he doesn't instantly go to kill him. He assesses the situation, holds down that inner demonic rage, the need to balance out power, and, you know, moves on with life. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, what up, Wario? <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> and Super Sense Layer, have I ever mentioned I'm hoping for Shantae? Yes, you have. But yeah, I, d I don't think Shantae's gonna happen. Like, I do not think so. Like, I had a little bit of hope back in, like, the early days, but not so much anymore. Not after Shovel Knight was confirmed in the Sis Trophy. If there was an indie character that was gonna get in the game, it was gonna be Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight got so many votes in the ballot. Jante didn't get half as much. No, sir. Alright. You definitely want to be Samus. You probably want to be Link as well. Who else do I want to be? Um, who has, like, just good normals? Marth? And then... Meta Knight? Yeah, you have to be Meta Knight. He's Meta Knight. Shantae is a cutie, though. I don't think being a cutie gets you into the game. I don't think so. Oh, interesting. Guess I'll just save. Aw, oh, this is my least favorite part of the game, man. Go through the world and figure out everything you haven't already done. The character selection, stickers, back to map. Now we're good. Let's move forward. Maybe, we'll, maybe Shovel Knight is a trick and Spectre Knight, Plague Knight, and King Knight are playable? I don't think so. I don't, I don't think that's the case. I highly doubt it. Like, why would you do that? Why would you make the character that isn't the protagonist the one that actually is playable? That makes no sense. And there's no precedent for that. It's never happened before. Right? You know, we got... I don't know, I'm trying to think. I can't think of a single franchise where, like, it wasn't the main character that was playable. Um... Nah, it's always the main character, isn't it? Now, uh, what's this? Thanks get the smart bomb? Why would I want to touch a bomb, Inviso? Bombs destroy people. Don't you know that? And, uh, Super Sin Slayer, actually, how did anyone keep track of the ballot results? Well, essentially, no one actually knows the real ballot results. We just have polls where people were, like, uh, voting on, uh, characters, and people just recorded those polls, and they're based, you know, it's essentially the same thing, right? It's like, yeah, vote for whoever you voted for for the ballot. Or other polls that are just like, you know, vote for whoever you want and you can vote for multiple people. And just if you look at all of these polls, theoretically you should have a vague idea of what the Smash Ballot is. And uh, if you follow these polls, so far, you know, it's pretty much one for one. We got Ridley, we got, um, we got King K. Rule, we got Simon Belmont. So far, the polls are, polls are there. <laughs> because it's smart? No, it's, no. No! Ah, oh, get out of here. 
Oh, Glackham host. Yo, let's go, Glackham. I don't know why, like, any of my alerts aren't working today, but yo, much appreciation, Glackham. Thank you very much. Yo, Glackham, OP. Let's see, did I miss anything else? Oh, there's nothing up here. Why did I come all the way up here for nothing? Um, Catrolius isn't completely wrong. After all, Dracula is in more games than Simon, from what I understand. Well, yeah, but again, you know, I'm talking like, yeah, main protagonist? The flagship character, you know, the person that's, you know, identified with Castlevania isn't Dracula. It's, it's the Belmonts. Specifically, the first one, Simon Belmont. You can't, you can't put in, like, you know, one of the other characters. That doesn't make as much sense. I mean, they did make Richter an Echo Fighter, so that was pretty cool. But Simon Belmont was going to be the main one. Because, like, there are different generations, so you'll have people who are like, Oh, Simon Belmont! Richter? Who? And then people that are the opposite are like, Oh, Richter Belmont! Simon? Who? Like, if you know Richter Belmont, you have a higher chance of knowing who Simon Belmont is. Because you probably know about lineage at that point. Versus if you know who Simon is, you prob there's a very, very good chance you don't know who Richter is. Because you only have to play the one game. You don't need to know lineage at all. Why am I fighting you? I'm going to be on my way. You think you'd be happy with a Shadow Echo? Yes. I do expect a uh, Shadow Echo. I think that's like guaranteed at this point. I'd be extremely surprised if Shadow didn't happen. The world would be surprised, let's be real. And, uh, Vexatious, but wait, why are we theorizing anyway? The Direct Tomorrow wasn't said to be about Smash. Um, Vexatious, do you live on this planet? Or did you live on this planet when Smash 4 was coming out? Because I'm not sure if you were around at that point in time. But every single time there was a Direct, whether it was a Smash Direct or just a random Direct, we always assumed that there was going to be a new character announced. Every time. We weren't always right. Sometimes it was just a normal direct, no character at the end. And then other times it'd be a normal direct, and then there was a character at the end. That's how it worked with Smash 4. And uh, with uh, Smash Ultimate, it makes even more sense to always expect a character after a Nintendo Direct, because the game comes out in December. <laughs> you know? And I, was, I believe Sakurai already said that he was going to reveal all the characters before the game came out. But there's not a lot of time to do that. Uh, where have I not gone yet? Uh, oh, I'm supposed to go this way? Okay. And let's see, what were we saying? Glacken says, I streamed about 7 hours of Rayman 2, 100%. My last run was sub 2 hour pace. But I forgot a single lum in Iron Mountain, and that was just it. Yo, that sounds... That sounds so awful! Lost like five minutes? Yo, rip, dude. Rippity dip. Shadow was an assist trophy either? No, you are not keeping up, Legends. You are not keeping up, are you? Yo, man, like all the other people, like in the community, we know who's confirmed and deconfirmed. Oh, this just takes me back here. Oh, I see where I was supposed to go now. Whoopsie doopsies. Well, better get that shave in. Uh, Vinx uses Samus, but doesn't even forward B. Her forward B's bad. It's not good. Um, Katroli says, you haven't gone up to the left? You mean up to the right, right? Because yeah, on the left side, there's nothing. On the right side, there's one more dot, which should signify a door that should link to another room. Green maps are hard, apparently, because you were saying left. It's definitely right, good sir. <laughs> you meant to? It's okay. Left and right are so similar. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. <laughs> Isn't that the best, man, when, like, someone tries to make, uh, you know, they try to have a joke at your expense, then they, like, mess up what they were going for? It's very funny. At least to me. Ouchies. Uh, Invisible says, I find spamming the fade gets you the edge of explosion immediately and you can escape it. Uh-oh. This is an interesting platform. Oh, I need to go that way. Excuse me. Just passing through. <laughs> My left, your right. 
<laughs> no, Catronius, get out of here. And uh, Vexation says, so what are we doing once you beat this tonight? You're gonna have like three hours of stream left over. Oh, am I? I don't know how long Subspace Emissary is. It was supposed to be a 12 hour event. And I only streamed for like four hours yesterday, if that. Because I started a little bit late. I think I started around 7.16. And then I also stopped around 11 because I was having problems on Twitch and problems on my computer, which was like super lame. Is what it is though. <laughs> no. You don't get to recover over here. Only cool people come this way. <laughs> Oh, I choke on Taboo for years? Nah, Taboo will be easy peasy. And, uh, let's see. Guess you have no choice but to play Battle Kid? Nah, I think we have some choices. Oh, we got another map room. Oh, there's a lot of rooms to go in now. Oh, my HP's back at 0%, nice. 12 hours? Uh, <laughs> that's what the estimate was. The estimate for, uh, Subspace Emissary was 12 hours. So, that's what I assumed. I mean, it's it's been literally uh, over a decade since I've done this last. I remember the maze being stupid long and monotonous. So, I was like, maybe this will take me forever. But, maybe not. Maybe not so much forever. Get out of here, you Nagagog. What is a Nagagog? And what is the point of this room? Do I have to defeat all these guys and then they'll let me through, or is this a waste of my time? Well, I'll defeat the guys first and we'll see what happens. Uh, can you come a little closer, guy? No? Okay. <laughs> oh, nope, that works. Hmm, nope, nothing? Alright. That's fine. By the way, Vinx never noticed me, Sad. Sorry, Sad Clone, I didn't see you. Saying nothing, man. How you doing? Wonder why nobody likes the Great Maze? Um, because it's going through the le levels you've already gone through again? That's probably why people don't like it. I know that's why I don't like it. They're like, hey man, would you like to do everything you just did again? Like, there's never been a game. Like, take Super Ghouls and Ghosts, for example. You get all the way to the end of the game, and then they say, do everything a second time. And no, I just stopped playing. I was all done. But yeah, SSE, the only reason I played all the way through it, through the Great Maze when I was younger, man, was just because it was like, okay, you know, I want to unlock all the characters, and if I want to get, like, Toon Link and Sonic, it might have mostly just been Sonic. I think the easiest way to get Sonic was, uh, SSE. Now, Super Sense Slayer says, oh yeah, thanks. You think we'll get some details on Ultimate's mysterious new mode? I think there's a pretty good chance. Because they haven't directly said that it's going to be a Smash Direct. But it's like, honestly, what are they going to do? Like, it's going to be one of two ways, right? Oh, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I don't want to die! <laughs> but yeah, it has to go one of two ways. Either they're announcing new games, or more likely, they're going over games that have already been announced. And what games have already been announced? Yoshi, Fire Emblem, Smash Brothers, Pokemon Let's Go. They have to give us those games, man. They don't, they don't have much of a choice. Um... Can I, can I come through, please? Is that cool with everyone? No? How am I supposed to get over there? Yo, guy, go go hit the bomb for me. Oh, man. If I had a long enough attack, I could hit it. Oh, can the boomerang get it on the way back? Nope. Gosh, darn it. It's so hopeful. The maze is literally the same level design. I don't remember the level. Um, the level design is different, but it's also very similar. A lot of areas are the exact same, but there's also changes here. Wait, what? This is here now? Okay, I don't understand how that works. I guess you just beat up some guys and then something unlocks? Mario Party? Yes, yeah, Super Mario Party, which comes out very soon, so they'll definitely, I think, be talking about uh, Super Mario Party. But yeah, again, I don't know if they're going to, like, you know, go all in and be like, yeah, here's the, uh... Uh, story mode. I don't know about that. I mean, they have to eventually at some point. I just don't know if that's going to be now. I think it would make more sense to wait till closer to when the game's coming out. Because I think the story mode will be a really hyped thing 
to like show off and talk about. Whereas, you know, before then, you can just kind of drop one character and everyone will just hype. They'll just go full hype mode. Uh, Vexatious says, I think there won't be any Smash information tomorrow. There will be another Direct in October that gives a character and the story mode, then a final one early December with the rest of the cast. Can it really be early December? Because it comes out December 7th. Can you really, like, December 1st, here's the Direct. Game comes out in six days, here's the information. <laughs> really? Are there, is, is there a precedent for that? The games normally, you know, like the big, big games, they usually have a Direct like six days before they come out. That sounds dumb to me. I want to say that sounds dumb. I, I don't remember that with anything else. Oh, this teleports me to the other rooms. Oh, I see, I see. Oh, and that heals me. Okay, now I understand. You don't see the problem then? You don't have to, Glackham. Um, it's just, you know, it's a person-by-person -person thing, right? Like, for me... Um, Mighty Gunvolt Burst. I think that game is super amazing, super good. And other people are gonna have a lot of problems with it. Cause they're like, this isn't dynamic enough. This isn't Mega Man X. And it's like, no, no, it's not. It's, it's not that. But it isn't what the people want, and thus they don't like it. It's as simple as that. It doesn't matter what I like, it doesn't matter what Glackham likes. It matters what people like, and the people don't like Subspace Emissary. You don't know anything about Gunvolt? <laughs> so sure. That's not the point, Glackham. The point was, it doesn't matter what you like. It matters what people like. It doesn't, like, nothing matters. Literally nothing matters, man. Like, that's, do you get that? I, I don't think I'm being obtuse. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Also, Spider-Man comes out tomorrow. Is anyone hyped at all? As yeah, Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Like, um, I think it's gonna be a really good game. Uh, there's a chance it could be the best Spider-Man game, like, ever. And if that's the case, then I'll be super hyped. But I don't want to get myself, like, too overly excited, you know? Being like, oh, it's gonna be the second coming of Spider-Man 2. You know, because Spider-Man 2 was so good. But, uh, it might not be that good. So I'll just wait. You know, I'm not gonna buy it day one. I'll let people get their hands on the game. And once they play it, I'll hear from them. And then if, you know, like a nerd is telling me, like, hey, yo, Vinks, man, this is the greatest Spider-Man game ever made, then I'll be hyped. People definitely like Subspace, maybe not the maze. Yes, people do like Subspace as a whole. They just don't like this. You know, just like people <laughs> typically don't like uh, when you beat Super Ghouls and Ghosts, you have to do it a second time. Comes out Friday? Ah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's, it'll be here, man. So yeah, Dashing Drew, he'll be getting the game. I don't think he's getting it the day it comes out. I believe he was saying that on the stream. Cause he's got this podcast he's doing. But yeah, nah, man. He'll be getting the game as well. I'll be, you know, checking that out. If Dashing Drew gives me the thumbs up, man, I'll be all over it. How am I live at 234%? People don't like Rayman, but Glackham likes Rayman? Yeah, that's a pretty, that's a pretty good example, man. Cause yeah, I don't- oh, ouchies. Yeah, I don't think uh, Rayman's a bad game at all. Like, I get it, I understand that people don't enjoy- Oh, the box can hit you, I forgot that was a thing. But, um... Oh no, not the bomb, not the bomb. But yeah. Um, I understand, you know, people don't like getting the game over and having to start from scratch. It makes sense, I get it. But I don't think the game's half as bad as people usually make it out to be. <laughs> no longer alive at 234, yep. In a Lamal Snake taunted. I didn't expect him to taunt, and I also forgot that his taunt was a hitbox. It's been a long time since I've played Brawl. Yo, what's in the box? Hmm, some dumb trophy. Was that Flood? I couldn't tell. No, box is the best move in the game. Yo, it's not bad. Not bad. I wish I had any idea where it was. Ah, and speaking of which... I now have some ideas. Guess I'll go down this way? Or should I go back to that other room that I missed? I should probably go back to the room I missed, I think. Yeah, let's go backwards. 
Missing two doors? Oh, I'm missing two doors? Oh, I am. Yeah, that other room. Well, I can teleport back there, so that's not as big a deal. But yeah, I want to make sure I do this one over to the right. I don't want to have to come back here. Oh my goodness, this dumb bucket! Go somewhere with your stupid bucket face. Nobody likes you! Alright, this must be the door. Wait, is this not the door? Yeah, this is right. You didn't see the top center one when he said that? Yeah. All good. I am not good at gliding. Come on. <laughs> Come on! Okay. Well, I made it to the other side. That's good enough. Oh, Meta Knight versus Meta Knight! No, never win! This is, this is way too OP. He's double S tier, and he's bigger than me. What am I supposed to do? Oh, I'm dead? Am I dead? No, not dead yet. Not yet. Yo, stay awake. Yo, your invincibility doesn't last forever, buddy. You can't just hold ledge. You can't, you can't just hold ledge. That was supposed to be a forward smash. <laughs> I'm very sad. I wanted to forward smash and I got jab out. Oh, that's gross. Did he die to down smash at 59%? Okay. <laughs> got the bulk on him, yep. Grab the item, yo. Why do you have so much love for these items in Vizzo? They're not that good. Like, items? Like, I'm not sure if you've ever played competitively with items, which is like a really, like, weird thing, but like, it happens sometimes. Sometimes you find yourself at some dumb anime tournament for Smash Brothers at the anime convention, and they have items on, but it's still like 1v1 and stuff. Usually, in that kind of scenario, you just throw the item. Like, that's usually what you use them for. You just use them to be like, okay, let me throw this in, he'll shield that, then I'll grab him. Like, I mean, obviously it depends on the item, because you can't, like, throw, like, hammers. I personally wouldn't even pick up a hammer. Because, like, if someone hits you when you uh, have the hammer, you have, like, no control of your character. Uh, if you go off stage, you just die. There's no recovering. Yeah, I've, I've actually played competitive with items on, and it's garbage. <laughs> it's not something I would do on purpose. Hmm, he can't recover. Uh, Invisible says, I've never played competitive with items. Everyone was too scared. I was surprisingly very good with items. Can drop the hammer, though? Drop the hammer? I don't remember that being a thing. Are we talking about the same item? I'm pretty sure you can't drop the hammer. I mean, like, it can be hit off of you, but you can't choose to drop it. The black hammer, yes, yes, the black hammer. And then it also has the gold version, which sometimes is a squeaky hammer. Oops. Alright, what does the map say? Wait, didn't I just do that? Or no. I did do this, didn't I? Uh, nope. Okay. <laughs> uh, Legend says, I think the more accurate phrasing is that you can lose the hammer on hit. Yeah, yeah, I was definitely confused when you said, um, drop the hammer, because you can't drop it. Not by choice. Which is what's crucial, that's what's important. If someone knocks you off stage with the hammer, you're done. How do I get in that room? It's all blocked up. Oh, just hit the button. Uh, Invisible says, I've definitely dropped it before, so as my friend, we haven't been able to replicate how to do it consistently, though. I can tell you why. Because you can't drop it. <laughs> it's, it's not an option. You cannot choose to drop it. It can be hit off of you. But you cannot, there's no button input. There's no, like, you know, you can't Z drop it. You can't, um... Like, do some sort of dash attack, cancel, glide toss, shenanigans, none of that. Nothing works. You cannot drop the item by choice. It has to be it. You promise? Alright. Inviso, I got a question for you. Because this is how I like to end all of my debates. How much would you bet that you're right? 
that you can press some button combination and it allows you to drop the hammer. How much would you bet? Because I would bet money that you cannot drop the hammer by choice. That you have to be hit. Like, it's not a normal thing. Like, maybe a character has, like, a special move they can do that makes it so they can't hold an item. But, nah, man. You can't, you can't, like, just press, like, A or Z. It's not a general thing that every character can do. Definitely not. And this says, Vinks, the last time you said this to me, I said no to the bet and was right. Yes, but this is how I find out you know, how legit it is. Cause yeah, I'm not- I'm not always right. I usually am though. Usually am. Especially when it comes to Smash Brothers. Like, let's be real. Let's see, Invisa says, every time him and I dropped the hammer, we were spamming every button imaginable. I mean... I don't know, man. I just don't believe you. I really don't. Like, I believe that you believe what you're saying. I don't think you're lying to me. I just think that you don't understand what happened. That's what I think happened, you know? There was some, you know, strange interaction, and that's what caused the hammer drop. It wasn't a button press. And this says, next time him and I play Smash, I'll make sure I record it. Yo, do it, man. If you prove me wrong, I will accept it. I'm a man that lives in facts and truth. If you show me I'm wrong, I will accept it. I've been shown to be wrong before. Huh, I wonder if this is the right way to go. Yo, Kyans is in here. How you doing, Kyans? Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, Katrona says, from what I can find, you can drop the hammer by teching, apparently? Well, yeah, that would put you in a situation, but, like, again, to be able to tech, you would have to be hit. Invisal says, you're tempting me to load up Smash right now and test it. Yo, Invisal, I'm telling you right now, $10. Like, I don't know if you have, a, like, a PayPal or something, but, yo, if you can prove me wrong, if you can drop the hammer through some input and it works on every character in the cast, like, any character can do it, and they don't have to be hit, I'll donate, or I'll give you $10 if you will take my bet, if you'll bet against me. Because, like, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure about that. I'm very confident. I mean, I could be wrong. There could be some strange item interaction I've never known has existed before, but I don't think that's the case. But if, you know, you want to get excited, you know, that's a way to do it right there, man. Yo, get some free money real quick, boot up your console, prove me wrong. Win $10. <laughs> You'd rather I play Battle Kid than $10? Nah, man, nah, nah, nah. That's, no. <laughs> Definitely not. I mean, if you would rather, you know, I put 10 votes to Battle Kid, I'll do that. I'll make that gamble. I'll put 10 votes to Battle Kid if I'm wrong. But you'd have to be seeing me in the bet, though. So I guess it'd be like either way, right? Because it's like, if I'm right, then it'd be the 10 votes and you don't have to, you know, give me any monies. But if you're, uh, if you're wrong, I expect the monies if you accept my gamble. Because you haven't said you accepted it yet, so you don't owe me nothing if you're wrong right now. Nothing. Zero dollars. But I bet I'm right. <laughs> I'm $10 willing to bet. Or tin boats, whatever you want to do. I'll give him ten if I'm wrong. Yo, I will. I would give him ten dollars if he wants to take that bet. If he wants to take the bet, I'd do it. <laughs> Business says I don't accept any type of gambling, so I'll be content just doing it and getting nothing for it other than the pat on my back. <laughs> Yo, fair enough. I can. I can respect that. I can respect that. I, I have my fun, you know, I know not everybody's into that, but no, man, it's, uh, that's 100% cool. I 100% respect your decision. 
<laughs> Either way, plus 10 to battle, kid. I mean, he said he didn't want it. I'll just give him the pat on his back if he's right. One pat on his back. I will, like, legit, if he's right, I'm 100% like, impressed. If he is right, I'm gonna be 100% impressed, because, like, I've never seen that before. And, like, yeah, you know, I don't play with items all the time, but I've put in, like, literally thousands of hours, like, more than 1,000, into Super Smash Bros. Brawl. So, I would be incredibly surprised if Inviso knew about something that I didn't know about. It's possible, I just don't think it's likely. <laughs> Rest in peace, beautiful song. You know what happens. You know, you know I'm double S here, right, Pikachu? I'm not sure if he knows. I don't know if he got the memo. Double S tier. What you gonna do? Ah, yeah, just jump right past me. Ah, uh, yeah, <laughs> just stop B. Vink stopped dying, but I gotta swap to Meta Knight Catrolius. That was the secret. Yeah, now I'm in. Because it's just like, I don't know. Like, I love Smash Brothers a lot. It's something I'm really, really knowledgeable about. And there are people that say, I probably know more about Smash than Banks does. Which is just so weird to me, because I'm like, I know they haven't played the game as much as I have. <laughs> There's no way. Like, just by the sheer number of hours I've put into the series between 64 to Wii U, there's no way they know as much as I do. They might know a random thing I don't know, but there's no way they have that volume of knowledge. And so I like to test people when they, uh, you know, say these things. Alright, first character you test, Legend, is an immediate no? Yeah, fair enough. Uh, Katrina says, Vinx is going to die and have to start all over. Why would I start all over? I have four lives. I'll be fine. We'll just, uh... We'll just be Meta Knight, no problem. No problems when you're Meta Knight, Petrolius. Double S tier. I can do no wrong. Ow, stupid bucket guy. I hate that bucket. Hmm. <laughs> None of that connected how I thought it would. Yo, do you mind, guy? I can't move when you're doing that. Because you need to get good? I am the good, Catrolius. I am the good. Alright, there's the green switch. Or we just need the blue one. Oh, it's Rob! Yo, what up, Mr. Robot? <laughs> oh, he tripped! Whoopsie doopsies! Whoopsie doopsies, all oh, these casual fun party games, guys. Oh man, I sure do love that trip mechanic. So glad Sakurai put that in there, we're so lucky. Hashtag blessed. Rob, would you, would you get out of here, man? There he goes. <laughs> Why is that glide so good? That'll loop, please. Alright, I'll just be on my way down, don't mind me, just double S tearing my way down. Oh, I didn't see you in there. Naughty little thing. <laughs> Quit beating up Rob? Yo, man, it's not my fault. He came to the wrong game if he wanted to not be beat up. I am Meta Knight. He's not Meta Knight. He loses the matchup. It's funny how that works, right? It's like, oh, okay, which character are they playing? Oh, not Meta Knight? Yeah, no, nah, he, uh, he wants the matchup. <laughs> but what if I'm playing Ice Climbers? Eh, I mean, it's, it's only slightly in Meta Knight's favor. Only slightly. Yo, if y'all don't get out of my face... Yeah, they, they needed to get out of my face, but they didn't listen. They got shuttle loot. I actually don't know what the matchup between Meta Knight and Ice Climber is in Brawl. It could be an Ice Climber's favor. I mean, Ice Climbers are S tier. They're not double S tier, but they're definitely S tier. But if I remember right, of all the characters at separating the, um, you know, Nana and Popo, I want to say Meta Knight's the best at that. So I'd imagine it would be in his favor. Now, 33%. <laughs> Yo, come back here, Ridley. I ain't done with you. 
Well, I tripped. <laughs> Whoopsie doopsies! Oh, the other side now? Oh, no! Oh, okay, I thought the smart bomb was gonna get me. No, we good. He didn't interact with it. Go, let it go, Mr. Ridley. Ow, 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 dead. <laughs> uh, Legend says, I'm not about to test every character on this file. That isn't even complete, but zero for four. And Vinx is right, unless Inviso fluked some sacred button combo all that time ago. Oh, yo, I'm Giant Samus versus Ridley. Yo, who's too big for Smash now? Let's go, dude. I don't want this stupid fan. Get out of my hands. Oh, I ran out of bigness. <laughs> You're loading it up? Yo, let's go, Inviso. Yo, Legend can't do it, man. But I, I, I wouldn't call that out. Like, I still don't think it's possible, but, you know, just because Legend couldn't do it doesn't mean that it's, you know, if it is a thing, that doesn't make it impossible. Maybe Inviso has the magic fingers, you know? He's like, yeah, man, you gotta press Y and then X and then B on the first frame. Oh, the first frame, you say? I had no idea. To be fair, it could be some jank with different controls. That could also be a thing. Maybe you need specific controls. It's got to be something like real crazy though, because otherwise, like I would know of it. I'm still not, uh, you know, saying that it is real. I'm just open to the idea of it being real. We're using standard GameCube with a uh, tap jump off. Oh, okay. Uh, who knows, man? Maybe you need, like, special on your C-Stick. I don't know why that would work, but I don't know why you would be able to drop Hammer in the first place, so... I don't know, maybe some strange combination like that. Ah, jeez. Do you mind, Mario? Yo, Gord's saying, uh, when's the next Direct? The next Direct is tomorrow. I think it's at, what, 3 p.m.? Uh... Pacific Standard Time, I think? And then what? Uh, that makes it like 6 Eastern, right? Ah, uh, I can't remember. Why don't I just look it up? The Nintendo Direct. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Yeah, Nintendo Direct. Yeah, 9, 6. So yeah, it's tomorrow. It's gonna be 35 minutes long. And yeah, it is 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 6 p.m. Eastern uh, Standard Time. Oh, get out of here, you buckets. You're bothering me with your bucket This, I don't know, I don't like them. Oh man, I just can't control that half as well as I think I can. Yo, let me get my chat back. Um, you just dropped the hammer? You just did it? Are you serious? That fast? It took you like two seconds? What? No, no, really? I wasn't recording though. <laughs> Gonna do it again, yo, man. Yo, you got it. You gotta record this. Upload it on YouTube real fast. Pilot Vinx don't know nothing about hammer drops, and uh, yeah, no, nah, I need to see this video. Yo, he did it first try. What is this magic? Oh, yo, don't even subscribe for t uh. What was that? Eight months? Yo, Valiant Man! Yo, much love, dude. Yo, my, like, OBS is being, like, super dumb, and, like, none of my alerts seem to be working. So I do apologize, but yo, thank you very much, dude, for the subscription. And plus 10 to Radiant Dawn? Yo, sounds good to me. <laughs> Automod doesn't like the word Dawn? Nah, it's too aggressive. Way too aggressive. But yo, Velian, I appreciate it, man. Sorry, I did not notice that. I've got to get that fixed. Yeah, I've been having some really weird problems with OBS lately. And I just, like, I tested out multiple times, and I finally had, like, you know, the game working. My webcam was working. I wasn't losing any frames. I was like, yep, don't touch anything else, Vinx. Don't touch anything else. Just play the video game. Because I didn't want to mess it up. <laughs> Wait until Automod meets the Dawn Brigade? Yeah, we'll see. Um, this is, I was hit, flew up in the air, and then dropped it by my own, uh, volition. 
I didn't drop it because of the hit. So, I guess what it is, is if you are hit, you are then able to drop it? Is that what it is? That you can't drop it normally unless you're in a hit state? But then if you are in a hit state, then there's a button you can press? Is that how it works? Yo, tell me what's what. Ouch. Bowen says, I'll say it again, Binks. Do I get this shiny version of the Super Troll after eight years? Yo, man. Yo, this shiny version of Super Troll would be super cool, for sure. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Yo. She would totally be the sub badge if she could fit. That would be cool. You know, Kian says, what do you think about BlazBlue Cross Tag Battle? Um, it's a cool game. I like it, but I haven't played, like, the actual game. I played the demo, which, um, you would think, like, oh, yeah, you played the demo, so you know what's what. But no, like, a lot of things changed between the demo and it actually, like, going live. So I'd have to, like, play the full game, but I don't plan on buying it, so I'll probably never play the full game. So I don't have a strong opinion on the game. Uh, it looks cool to me, though. It looks cool. Oh my goodness. But yeah, right now I'm just more focused on like other fighting games with Street Fighter V, um, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, which you know will come out at some point. Oh, I'm so dead. <laughs> Goodbye, Link! Um, after Smash Bros. Ultimate, um, Rivals of Aether, I really want to try that game out. Because uh, Shovel Knight's going to be a uh, DLC. I think it's like $5 or something. And I already have the game, and I've been meaning to get back into it. Now that Shovel Knight's a confirmed character, that'll definitely be me. And that's three fighting games, plus uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z. For fighters, I think that's what they call it. Yeah, Dragon Ball Fighters. I plan on playing that game as well, so it's like... There's too many games for me to play, so I can't play uh, Blast Blue. Uh, I thought I could counter him, but I didn't. Ouchies. Invisible says, that's my guess? Oh, okay. Fair enough. You got out in recording now? Yo, good stuff. Invisible P. Hmm. <laughs> Yo, Invisible's 2 0 on bets against me, man. 2 0. I mean, he doesn't accept my bets, but yeah, he's 2 0 against me now. I gotta keep this in mind for the future. For the future. Alright. Oh, wow! Gosh darn it. I didn't know he was gonna fl fall from the top. Uh, let's see. Uh, Vexation says, when are we learning Fighter Z, and why don't you have it on PC? <laughs> I do not have it on PC. I have it on PS4. Um, I got it on PS4, because I don't think I bought it. I think, uh, my brother-in-law did. And he doesn't play his game, like, he doesn't play most of his games on PC. He only plays, like, Overwatch on PC. Everything else he gets on console. And yeah, for whatever reason, he wanted to get Dragon Ball Fighters. I planned on uh, buying it myself, but he got it first. And, like, he doesn't play the game anymore. <laughs> so, I've been pretty much playing it. But then I stopped playing it. Now the PS4 just kind of sits around collecting dust. Like, the PS3 gets more play than the PS4 does. The PS3 has Neo Kuni on it. I mean, Neo Kuni 2 is on the PS4, but... Dipsy hasn't beaten uh, Neo Kuni 1 yet, so... That one's gotta wait. And dead? Yo, he was OP, man. Don't forget the fact that he was OP. Ouch, 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 ouch. Uh, Kian says, um... It's been a lot since I played a fighter, Dragon Ball Fighters and Smash Ultimate. You'll get 100%. Nice. Definitely have to play Smash. Yo, exactly. Gotta play Smash. That's important. All those other games, like, they're cool too, but Smash... <laughs> Smash is like life. Uh, Controller says, Vinx, remember when you said you weren't going to get bodied? <laughs> yeah, we got bodied a little bit, but it's not a big deal. We just started right back at the same boss fight. Who cares? And, um... Gallium? The bosses? What, you don't like the bosses? 
I mean, I don't like refighting all of them, but I've kind of just accepted my fate now. <laughs> so I'm just moving on. Uh, Katrona says, Vinx, you never said if you were going to take my incentive goal for this game. Um, I believe the thing that I wanted to know, I need some sort of estimate for like how long it would take to fight all the bosses on Intense. If I don't have an estimate, I'll have to turn it down because I'm worried it'll take like a super long time and I don't want to start that and not finish it. And I also don't want to dedicate like entire streams to just doing the boss rush. So yeah, I have no idea how long it would take, but I'm, I'm not trying to do the boss rush if it's going to take me. Because like we should finish this game before uh, the end of this stream. So if there's extra time, I could do that, but if it's like undoable, then like in that span of time and it would take like a whole nother stream, eh, not so much. Yo Charizard, get out of here. Nino, uh, Nino Kuni 2 is on sale right now until the 11th. Oh, is it? I've been meaning to buy that for a while. There was a sale before and I missed that one and I felt really silly. I did not want to pick this item up. I wanted to dash attack Charizard. Items are so annoying sometimes. Okay, oh, good. good spot dodge. Oh, play chart. Oh, that's a bomb! How did that not hit me? I was right there. I mean, we take those. I'm just surprised. Could you just... Oh, my goodness. Um, Nino Kuni is amazing. It is. I love Nino Kuni. Oh, it's such a good game. And that's why, because like, uh... My sister Gypsy, she wanted Nino Kuni 2 for her birthday. And I was like, I will buy you Nino Kuni 2, like full $60. If you beat Nino Kuni 1. And she's like, Yup, I will beat it. Don't you worry. And she started playing it. And like she had already started the game. She was like, she's like halfway through the game already. So I was like, she can do it. But uh she's just been way too busy and she just doesn't have the time to play. I'm like, yeah, I probably shouldn't get you a $60 game if you don't have time to play any of the games. But I got her a different game instead, so. She's good there. She still wants that Nino Kuni too though. So I might have to get it for her anyways. Just, you know, just as like a surprise. <laughs> Let you body uh auto mod? No. No one's allowed to body auto mod. Auto mod comes in peace. This is also you can do it with the super hammer. Uh, saving videos should have it uploaded shortly. Yo, sounds perfect, man. Jan says, um, oh, Dragon Quest XI? I don't plan on getting it quite yet. It's on my Steam wish list. It's on there. So if it ever goes on sale in the future, like, I'll see it. But, um, Dragon Quest XI, like, it just depends. Because, like, with RPGs, like, I love playing RPGs. But I want to make sure that, like, people want to watch, because, like, I'll start playing an RPG, and if, like, I don't have, like, you know, at least a few people that want to watch, I'll be streaming to, like, four viewers, and those four people are generally people that have the stream open, but, like, they're not, they're not watching, you know, they're, like, you know, I don't know. They had the stream open from, like, the last stream when I was playing, like, Pokemon or something, and they just never closed it. Like... It depends on the RPG. Some people like never watch, so if no one's interested in Dragon Quest XI, I'll probably like really hold off and wait for it to go on sale and then pick it up. I'd have to I'd have to know there's like a real interest. Cause I I would love to like play all the way through a Dragon Quest game. Like there's only two Dragon Quest games I've beat. And they are wait, I'm going the wrong way, right? Well, I never went to that room all the way to the right. Let's do that. But yeah, there's uh, Dragon Quest 1, like the first one, and then uh, Dragon Quest uh, Monsters, which isn't like in the mainline series. Uh, Katrona says, Vinx, how about this? Try the boss rush on Intense. After you beat the game, give it a few tries, then retreat because you need to get good. I mean, I could do that. I could, you know, give it a few tries, but... I don't know, if it's if it's pointless, then like, I mean, I could do something else instead, maybe, you know, start one of the other variety games. Because, uh, like, I'm sure it's going to take time, I just, I need to know how much time it's going to take me is all. 
And uh, Glackham says, you should do what you want sometimes. This is true. But, like, I don't know, man. Because it's like, I can do, like, just what I want. Which, like, I did this week, right? Like, this week, I was just playing Street Fighter and Smash Brothers just because I felt like it. Not because it has good stream growth, because the games didn't really do that too much. But it, it was just for funsies. But I don't want to do just for funsies all the time. Because, I mean, I always play games that I want to play, but some games are better for growth than others. And if I only played games just for funsies, with, like, literal zero paying attention to, like, what, you know, people are interested in, what my followers like to watch, what my subscribers like to watch, then I would have a dead channel. <laughs> and I don't want that. So, I, I, there's a little bit of, you know, wiggling around there. Um, everyone but SSS in, uh, Smash? Oh, Zelda killed me. Why? I save you all the time. Why would she do that? So rude. All right, well, I'm Marth now. I'm, like, top tier, so Let's see what she got. Uh, this week you just wanted to body you and Vex in uh, Street Fighter V? I mean, I love bodying you guys every day. And we've been doing that off stream. I just also wanted to keep doing it, man, because I was having a lot of fun. So I just kept at it. And yeah, like, that's also the plan for Saturday, right? Like, Saturday's gonna be a 12-hour stream, and we're gonna do fighting games on that day. We're gonna do Street Fighter V, we're gonna do Super Smash Bros. for Wii U, we're gonna do Dragon Ball Fighter Z. and I haven't decided what the other games are gonna be, or if I'll just do those three. But yeah, I just wanna play a bunch of fighting games on Saturday, and I wanna do a 12-hour stream, because I think it'll be fun. But yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing on Saturday, I assure you of that. Um, let's see, and you have fun, it's been fun, I've enjoyed, yo, perfect, man. Yo, that's where it needs to be at. I want people to have the fun. Ouchies, 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 I need to get out of here! Let me, leave me alone! You're so mean to me. You were beating me up. Oh, you posted on Discord? Alright, alright, I gotta take a quick look at this. Yo, this is a, oh, up, oh, Peach, what was that combo, dude? She hard-bodied me. Banks is wrong again. Okay, okay. <clears throat> so there's the Marth. Yes, yes. And there's the hammer. Um, okay, you had to reset there. Alright, hold up. He's got the hammer. And is this the part where he's supposed to drop it? Yep, you had to pick up another hammer. <laughs> this is it seems he's having a lot of trouble here. Alright, there we go. Oh, yeah, he dropped it. He dropped it after getting hit. To be fair, to be fair, I'm not completely wrong. You do have to get hit to drop it. But I thought that, you know, it was on getting hit that you dropped it. You just have to be on a, in a hit state. But I'm still surprised. I'm still surprised. I didn't realize it worked like that. That's pretty cool, though. That's pretty cool. 12 hours fighting games, my four thumbs. Yo, man, it's all good, it's all good. You don't have to literally play me for the full 12 hours, Catrullius. It's no good. You know what I was saying? Dragon Ball Fighters, yes. Oh, that reminds me, I was going to put a donation goal in the stream, I forgot to do it. Completely forgot. But, if we reach $5, I will, uh, I will learn Broly, and I will play Broly for, uh, DBZ, because I believe he's a $5 character, and I figured if I don't, if I, if we don't meet that, then I'll play, uh, the team I plan on learning, because I don't know any of the characters, honestly, the team I plan on learning is Perfect Cell, Vegeta, and Android 16. That is the team I plan on learning, but... If a $5 goal is met, we'll do, uh, we'll put Broly on the team instead. Supposedly, he's a cool character, but he's DLC, so I was figuring maybe I won't get him. According to the rules, since both people are partially correct, <laughs> Nura gets $10? Oh, is that how it works? Got you, I didn't realize. Uh, Banks' definition, although unclear, was accurate, yeah. Um, let's see, we need to go up to the top, I believe? Oh wait, I should go in here first and heal. Should really get good at Dragon Ball Fighters. It's such a fun game. Yo, it looks really fun. Like, cause I love um, 
what's it called? I love Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I love Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I enjoyed Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, even though it was a dead game at release. I love those kind of games. <laughs> and yo, Broly donated $5 saying, Thanks, oh, rot! <laughs> yo, let's go, man. Yo, unfortunately, the sound effect is not played off. I don't know what's wrong with my alerts, man, but yo. <laughs> Broly, thank you so much. Yo, legit, we will we will play Broly. We will play Broly. Dragon Ball Fighter Z, guaranteed, man. <laughs> Yo, that's hilarious. Oh wait, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Oh wait, or do I go up there? I think I go up there. Yo, Gohan is meta too? Yo, nice. Um, Android 16 isn't meta, but she's good enough? That's fair. Hmm, I can go right or left? Let's go, let's go right first. And, uh, let's see, Glackham says, wait, what am I looking at in this video, Invizo? Um, it's him dropping the hammer after, um, being hit. Because essentially, I'm not sure if you were, like, there when we were, uh, arguing about it earlier. But Invisa was saying that you could drop the hammer. And I was like, no, you can't drop the hammer, that's impossible. And, um, you know, we went back and forth for a bit, and I'm like, if you, there's no way to drop the hammer unless there's some strange, like, you know, combination of buttons I've never heard of before. Or like, you have to get hit and that's not really dropping it, it's being knocked off of you. And so, I was right that you have to be hit, but I was wrong that, um, you can't choose to drop it. Because when you are hit, you can press a button, Invisio just showed us, and it allows you to drop the item by choice. I did not know that was a thing. And yo, how is this guy cheating so hard? He needs to get out of my face. Android 16 is so good. Oh yeah? Okay, okay. <laughs> you figured I'd enjoy that? Yup. <laughs> Vexorat? Yes. Yo, man. Broly's the best. So good. I mean, he's not exactly the uh, most intelligent of fighters. <laughs> but he's really cool. That's all that matters, right? Ouchies. Yo, man. There's a reason Cool Cat is one of my favorite emotes. It's all about being cool, guys. And, um, let's see, what else are we saying? You don't see the hammer dropping? Oh, it's, uh, towards the end of the video. Like, cause he's, like, mostly off-screen when it happens. But yeah, like, he's, he gets knocked up into the air in the top right, and then he just drops the hammer, and you'll just see this hammer falling from the sky down into the abyss. Buckman says, I was, I thought the idea was dropping the hammer without external forces. That was, that was the initial thing. So again, like, I'm wrong, but not completely wrong. You do have to be hit. You do have to be hit. So I'm like, right and wrong. Uh, when do you plan on playing Dragon Ball Fighters on Saturday? Um, I figured I would probably do Dragon Ball Fighters earlier in the day. Like, I haven't, like, cemented a schedule yet, but I figured I would do Dragon Ball Fighters, like, real early, and then Street Fighter V, and then whatever other random games I decide to play, and then do Smash Wii U at the end. I figured that would be the easiest way to do it, or maybe I should do the opposite? I don't know, it just depends on, like, what people want to see, man. Let me know. What time do I plan to start? Um, let's see, on Saturday, like last time I did 12 p.m., but I think this time I'll start at 1 p.m. I think it would be easier to stream in the 1 a.m. than it is to start at 12 p.m. I mean, I can, but I'm feeling kind of lazy. Which do y'all prefer? Would you rather see me stream till 1 a.m. or stream as early as uh, noon? Oh, I need to get in there, but the place closed. You just realized this is a Thursday stream, but today's Wednesday. I'm very confused. And uh, Invisu says, I think Snake is one of the only characters who can forcibly drop a hammer without needing an enemy using his grenade, but that would be silly. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's completely fair. I mean, that's not, that's not abnormal, man. Like... Snake in competitive play blows himself up on purpose all the time. You know, it's, it's usually to recover or to force some kind of weird situation. But it happens. It's, it's not that absurd. 
Oh, it's Wednesday? <laughs> yes, today is Wednesday, Glackham. It would say bonus stream in the title if I was doing a, a bonus stream. I don't stream on those Thursdays. No, sir. Oh, yeah, I can hog ledges. I forgot about that. I'm a double S tier, you know, Meta Knight. I do what I want. I do what I want. Yeah, that's right. You have to be able to grab the or move onto the stage physically, man, because I will just grab that ledge. This is this is double S tier Meta Knight over here. Oh, yeah, but I also have to worry about invincibility. How are you still alive? Go somewhere, would you? No. Shoot. Control says, I'll only be here for Dragon Ball Fighters and Street Fighter V. It's up to you when you stream. Got you. Um, so are you saying that you would only be able to show up for early stream, or you just want to show up for those? Because, like, you know, obviously, depending on the time frame, like, I could do that earlier, I could do it late. I'm currently thinking about doing those games earlier in the day and doing, like, Smash and whatever other things later in the day. So I'll probably put a lot of time into Street Fighter V, I think. Again, that is the game I'm having like a lot of fun with right now. But we'll see. Uh, Invisus Glackham, you need some kind of external force to do it, um, as it seems to only occur during hit stun. Got you. And uh, Super Sense Slayer says, I have worked from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. I'm hoping to play you in Fighter Z. If it doesn't work for you or others, then I'll have to play you later. I mean, like, if everybody, you know, would, like, I just need to know what people are good with. People are like, oh, yeah, you know, it'd be a lot easier, you know, to play you in Dragon Ball Fighter Z later in the day than if that's how most people feel. I would like to be able to have people to play. It wouldn't be good if, you know, I'm playing Dragon Ball Fighters and I play literally none of my viewers. That would be really bad. And I know not everyone has Dragon Ball Fighters. Like, so far to my, you know... Uh, as far as I know, the only people that have a PS4 copy of Dragon Ball Fighters that could play me are you, Super Sense Slayer, and Inura. Because yeah, Vexatious has it on PC, so I can't play him. Uh, where else do I need to go? Um, because like the shiny things are like the main doors. And I just have to hit all the other doors I haven't touched, right? So, over here? You know, we don't have time for beautiful songs, Glacken. Oh, it won't let me teleport from here. Because in some of the other rooms, it would let me, like, teleport to the other areas. What is up with that? That is pretty whack. Super whack. What if I go to character select, maybe? <laughs> nah, a guy can dream. There you go. Give me that Samus back. No, not no, no. No, not Pit. I, no, I don't want that. I did not, I did not select Pit. No, sir. Not me. Alright, who should be my fourth? Ike? Yeah, let's get Ike, man. Um, let's see. Controlia says, those are the games I want to play you in. I don't care. My Saturday is free this week, oddly enough. So, as long as I know. Okay, awesome. And, uh... You plan to pick up uh, Dragon Ball Fighters uh, tomorrow, and then you uh, pick up the game tomorrow when I drop by GameStop for Spider-Man. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that works out. Okay, so I want to go to the bottom left. <laughs> game & Watch? I don't want to play Game & Watch. Ike is awesome. Ike is awesome. I did main him for a small amount of time in a Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Yeah, it, it took me a while before, like, it literally took me years till I found my main in this game, which ended up being Toon Link. I didn't see that one coming at first. Which is funny, because I'm pretty sure Toon Link is the last character I ever unlocked in this game. But, uh, but that's not why, because, you know, I had Toon Link unlocked for years before I decided to main him. Yeah, it was Samus first, which, to be fair, that was really, like... <laughs> pre-release, but I played a lot of, uh, I played the game pre-release, and Samus was the character I played. She's my main in Melee. Wait, I went the wrong way. This is not the door that leads down there. But, um, so yeah, I played Samus first, then Ike, then Wolf, then Pokemon Trainer for a bit? Or, it might have been Luigi first. It was, like, Luigi and Pokemon Trainer. And then after those, 
I believe I went to Bowser. I played Bowser, he was my main for a long time. And then I eventually moved on to Ness, and then after Ness, Toon Link. How do I get to the other spot? Oh, I can go down here? Oh, I knew that. You apparently typed the same thing multiple times? It happens. And uh, Control says, yeah, I used Link in uh, Melee, Ike and Roy in Brawl, and Little Mac and Mega Man in uh, 4, also Korn, because that's uh, because he was good. Yes, he is pretty good. You're not wrong about that. Control is, have you ever played me in uh, Super Smash Brothers for Wii U? Or did you just play it on uh, 3DS, maybe? Because, yeah, I think I would remember another Little Mac main. So clearly, must have never played me. Unless I had forgotten, which is highly possible. But I don't think so. Get out of here, you stupid Koopas. I don't have anything against Koopas, I just need them to not, you know, attack me. I'll appreciate it. You know, I'm just trying to take a drink of water, and then Bowser over here wants to be all lame and stuff. <laughs> Why do you go off stage there? Oh, give me the star. I will take that star. Best to believe, my 182 self. Hmm, he doesn't tech those, apparently. Yep. Oh. I tried to get the down air, but I landed on the platform. Uh, Control says, I don't actually own Smash 4, my uh, old roommate did. Which is why I learned Corrin, that was his main, so he tried to teach me to be good. Never played you, but I'm fairly certain you'd body me. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's all good. It, it wasn't about a, oh man, I need to know that I can body control it. So it was more like, I haven't played you, right? Just wanted to make sure, you know, that the memory I think I had was the real one. And this time, that appears to be the case. It isn't always. It definitely isn't always. Do all competitive Smash players get bodied by CPUs? Nah, CPUs are super easy. It just depends. Like, um... In my, in my example, if you're practicing against, like, level 9 AIs, which is, like, the highest possible AI, it's literally, like, some of the worst practice you can get. It's like, yeah, they're hard and all, but um, what level 9 a AIs do that makes them different from other characters is that they react to what you're doing in their computers. <laughs> so they can do everything perfectly, like literally frame perfectly. So if you use an attack that uh, can be countered and you're playing against a character that has a counter, they will counter you like 90% of the time. Like it's way too likely a human can't do that. It's the same thing even if they're not playing a character that has counters, they can perfect shield you. And if you use a perfect, uh, if you use a perfect shield, then it cancels all the normal shield lag, and you can punish any attack they did on you. Like, it doesn't matter what attack they did that's normally safe. If you perfect shield it, you can just punish it. Most humans won't react to their own perfect shield well enough to, like, get, like, a full punish. But a computer can. <laughs> But, uh, again, to play against that, you just have to play a style where, like, you literally just wait for them to use a move that you can punish. Like, you know, you have to play defensive, which isn't the best way to play this game. Like, not waiting to see them use moves. That's, that's not exactly what you want. And then, uh, yeah, you just punish that. Yo, Jiggles with the 45 bits, last level hype, let's go. <laughs> Dang, I forgot about a bits. Yo, it's all good, Jiggles. Yo, I appreciate the 45. Yo, that's super nice of you. And yo, we're in there, man. We're getting close. We're getting real close to the end, man. You gotta believe. Yo, get out of my way, all you stupid little enemies. I am Meta Knight. I shouldn't be fighting you. I'm better than this. I'm better than you, okay? Apparently we don't take those. Uh, Control says, I was casual, good. But I feel like I would have enjoyed playing against the Little Mac. I had to deal with, uh, Corrin, Villager, and Cloud. <laughs> yeah, that's fair, man. Yeah, Villager can be really hard to fight. 
if you've never fought a good villager before. Because, like, a good villager is just gonna zone you out, like, forever. And that one time you think you're getting in, you're like, no, I let you walk there. So I could drop a bowling ball on your face. And then you cry. Oh, wow. That was a really good up, uh, up tilt. So, you saw no bits being given? Yeah, it worked for me. It said 45 bits. No worries, J Globes. We got you. And, uh, controller says, Villager who would constantly pull trees out of his pocket. Who keeps a tree in their pocket? Um, apparently Villager. You know, you never know when you might need... Oh, I don't need those. Um, where do I go now? I guess back this way. Oh wait, no, 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 that's not the way, was it? Yes, it was. Excuse you. I'll need to be getting knocked into the water. Very rude. <laughs> Yo, Super Sizzler with the 100 bits! Hopefully you can play in Fighters on Saturday! Yo, sounds good, man. I am down. I want to play the Fighters against the Peoples. So yeah, we won't start with Dragon Ball Fighters then, because I want to make sure that I get to play you Super Sin Slayer. You said you get off at, uh, 3, I think you said? I think you said you get off at 3. You still see no bits? Yeah, no, nah, maybe Twitch is just being weird for you, uh, Jayglobes. It happens all the time. Like, I've definitely had streams where, like, I'll see it say, like, cheer in the number, but, like, the symbol doesn't show up. But, like, it still goes through. But, yeah, like, um, my, my alerts themselves are definitely busted. So, you can't see my alerts. And then, like, the actual, like, emote for the bits as well might be broken on Twitch's site. But, yeah, Super Sin Slayer definitely donated 100 bits. Without a doubt. Bits Cup is dead? Yeah, no, man. All this stuff is, uh, laid dead. Very unfortunate. Like, I would try to fix it, but I'm really worried about, like, breaking the game in the process. Um, where have I not gone, guys? Looks like I've been everywhere. Me. We. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> that kills you. Don't go on that one. Not the Bit Cup! <laughs> yeah, the Bit Cup didn't make it, man. Um, let's see, you start in the middle of this room? Yeah. Oh, you're right, I didn't go all the way to the left. No, I don't want to go in that. How do I get to the right side if there's all this water here? <laughs> I don't, I, no, no, I don't, I don't want that for me. But I don't want to drown either. I didn't even jump, how'd I go in the thing? Okay, it worked that time. I'm not gonna drown, am I? Oh no, I'm drowning! Don't drown! Uh, how do I get back over to the left? This is impossible. Up oh, and blah. Maybe it'll put me closer to the thing? <laughs> the best player in the game, the bit cup? Continue. <laughs> I do want that. I didn't want to drown. I just didn't know how to get to the left and not drown. I, I didn't see that option. Oh, alright. If there's anyone that can get across, it'll be Samus. Oh, I don't want to go over that way. The cannon? Am I right? What cannon? Oh, okay. Oh, it shoots you over all of that. I thought it was just like a small little arc. It takes you all the way back. Oh, okay. Perfect. Easy peasy. I'm over here trying to do all this hard stuff. <laughs> no, 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 Biggs. Just get in the cannon. Don't you want to take it the easy peasy way? Why, yes, I do. I love the easy way. Go back? Wait, why would I go back? I want to get to the room on the left side. I don't want to go back. Uh, Glackham says, assuming? <laughs> yes. Super unobservant you? Always. I mean, I saw the cannon, I just didn't realize it would go that far. None of the other cannons were shooting that far. Come on, Ridley. 
Oh man. They need they need to make Prime 4 already, and there better be a new 2D Metroid for Switch as well. I need all of that. Give me all the things. Ooh, I jumped right into his mouth. That was not the best for me. Oh, geesh. And dead. That's fine. Now we get to be Meta Knight. Bring it on, Meta Ridley. I'm Meta Knight. Didn't I already fight Meta Ridley in the Labyrinth? Or did I fight him, like, right at the end before we fought Taboo? Or did... Or was it both of those? I don't... I don't remember, but I feel like I just fought Meta Ridley. Time 4 was announced? It was, but... We don't have a release date. It's like, who knows how far into development it is. I don't expect to see that the Direct tomorrow. I think that'd be too early. I think we'll see stuff about it in 2019 and it'll come out in 2020. I need to play Prime 1 through 3. <laughs> yeah, I'll play Prime 1 through 3 at some point, man. I really want to. Those are really good games. But, like, the problem is, is there's a lot of games I want to play. There's so many games. I want to play Iconoclast. I want to play The Messenger. I want to play, um... What else do I want to play? I don't know. There's tons of video games. So many games. Oh, okay, yeah, there, I can see one that's, like, way, way up that I didn't get. Can I teleport there? One teleport, please. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Let's get that save. Um, Hello? There we go. Uh, controller says it was technically both. You fight Meta Ridley right before the maze, then fought Ridley in the maze. <laughs> Got you. Fair enough. All right, this is close, but not close enough. Look for dots. Yeah, I see the dot. I'm just trying to get there. No, that's way too far away. Maybe this one? No, no, I'm all good. Oh, you gotta go? Yo, later, Kians. Thanks for coming by. It was nice having you here. Nope, nope, nope. Maybe this one. Have a nice stream? Yo, the stream's been really good so far. I'm sure it will continue to be this way. No! I don't want to save! I want to get to that place. It's further away. Um... Oh wait, can you only like teleport to certain ones? Yeah, there's only four of them. You can only teleport to the purple ones. I'm trying to get to that green one. That's not possible, is it? So what's the closest one then? That would be the one that's down, okay. Alright, this should be right. Hopefully it is. If I understood the map right. Yeah, we're good. We just gotta go up now. Can I go up here? No? Okay. Nope, I tripped again. It's a few trips this stream. Yeah, not that way. Uh, this one? I was here and ignored it earlier? Oh, yeah, I knew I was here, but I was like, no, nah, I don't want to go through here. I want to go through another spot. That was no good. This is the right way, right? And this is wrong? No, this is this is just fine, see? Got to one of the doors. I didn't even realize this door was here. I was looking for a different door, I think. So maybe I mixed myself up again. Time will tell! No, you can't just spot dodge and think you're gonna be fine. I'm Meta Knight. You're never fine, not while I'm around. Did you just- did you just tilt me? Get out of here! Disrespectful. <laughs> Glackham says, I know you want to play games, Vinks, but you can't do that if you don't play them. But I do play the games, Glackham. There's just too many games. There's too many games. There's not enough time. Like, yeah, let me let me bring up the variety games list. Where's that at? Good old variety games list. And we'll talk about all the games that I want to play. Alright. So we got um, Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. I need to play that. 
uh, Super Mario Maker. I mean, I'm not super excited to play that again, but if it's up there, we'll do it. Um, Cory in the house, oh my goodness, I don't want to play that at all. But it's at the top, so whatever, and that's that's a dead area, I didn't know that going in though. Uh, Chrono Cross is going to be amazing, I never beat that game, I played it when I was a little kid. I didn't make it very far, because I was a little kid, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, Pokemon Fire Red Generations, we've started, we're into that game, so those are, those are good times. Um, Chroma Squad is a game I'm looking forward to, I really want to play that one. Um, Ogre Battle will be really cool, because it's made by the same people that did Final Fantasy Tactics, and I love Tactics, so I'm sure it'll be a good game. Um, Battle Network 2, oh my goodness, yes, please, I mean, it's Mega Man, duh. Uh, Fury, I do want to play that one, though I do have to mute the audio for a good portion of that game, man, because it, uh, one of the bosses says a Nazi word, and I don't want that to be on the stream, so I'll, I'll mute that. Um, but aside from that part... Yeah, there's, uh, Tenth Doctor figured it out for me, so I'll only play, I'll only have the sound playing in parts that are, you know, appropriate. And then, um, oh, jeez, Luigi, you need to calm down, buddy. Yo, punch out? Oh, that's the Ness one? <laughs> oh, yeah, that got back up there, because it's not technically finished, huh? But yeah, I do still need to finish. I might actually be playing that sooner than later. Um, because, uh, someone picked up the, uh, what's it called? The... The NES Classic Mini, and they're going to let me borrow that, and I'm going to try to play Punch-Out on that and see if I can beat Mike Tyson. So we'll try that out. Yo, Blue Dragon is amazing. Yo, there's so many good games on this list, man. There's so many good games. Yeah, plus five for XCOM for the Broly donation. Oh, okay, okay. That sounds good. Alright, did I hit all the spots? Are we good now? Yeah, that. Oh, wait, I have to go all the way to the left? And, uh, Glackham says, Blind Metroidvania Marathon sounds like a good idea. Because you listed two Metroidvanias already, and you have three primes to play. <laughs> yeah, I would have to do that at some point. Guys, stop adding to games that aren't Ikaruga. <laughs> Yo, man, people have different games that they're into. It is what it is. But Ikaruga is a very good game, and does deserve votes, without a doubt. I thought I had another jump. Uh, Mike Tyson isn't on the NES Classic, it's Mr. Dream instead. That's fine, that's fine. Mr. Dream and Mike Tyson are the exact same boss fight, they just look different. <laughs> so, uh, if I beat Mr. Dream, I will consider that the same as beating Mike Tyson. If anyone disagrees with me, uh, too bad. They can, uh, they can fight me. And, yeah, here we go. So speaking of Punch-Out, last night you played Super Punch-Out, so you could get better at Gungeon? Wait, what is what does Super Punch-Out have to do with Gungeon? I don't understand. Is there some sort of boss that, like, has uh, a lot of similarities, or is there a weapon? Because I know they have some pretty kooky weapons in that game. I don't know. I think you got the Japanese uh, Drag Queen and gave up? I don't think he's a Drag Queen! I, I don't think so. I think he just has long hair and makeup. I don't think he's a drag queen, uh, Blackham. <laughs> um, I mean, I could be wrong, but I, I don't think he is. I don't remember him referring to himself like that. Uh, Controller says, Mike Tyson will fight you, Binks. And, uh, Haka Akure. And yo, Cole Rocket just subscribed with a tier one sub 15 months in a row saying hi. Yo, much appreciation, Cole Rocket. Unfortunately, my alerts aren't working today. I don't know why my OBS has been kind of weird lately. I will try to fix it, but the last time I, like, messed around with my OBS, it, like, super broke down, and I had to shut down the stream an hour early yesterday. So today, I'm not gonna touch it. <laughs> not until I beat, uh, Smash Brothers, anyways. To beat Smash Brothers, we'll get back in there. But yo, thank you so much, Cool Rocket. I really appreciate it, man. And yo, that gives you, uh, plus five votes to any of the games in the, uh, list. Yeah, just let me know. Ouchies. <laughs> no problem. Yo, I appreciate it. He's effeminate? Well, there's a huge difference between effeminate and being a drag queen. <laughs> like, come on. Because he's not, he's not dressed up like a lady. He has long hair and he has makeup on. <laughs> that does not make you a drag queen. Excuse you. Um... 
Blackham says, one of the fights in the game has a final phase that plays like a punch-out boss. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, I never made it to the very end of uh, Gungeon. I made it pretty far in once, playing with a friend. It was fun times, and that was like years ago. I think it was like 2015 or early 2016. I don't remember exactly. But yeah, I had fun. Oh, what? Now there's all these things? Ah, that's okay, Vanks. You're almost there. Just keep going. Just keep going, Vanks. And, uh, Glackman says, and every time, uh, I fought him, I would fail miserably, so I got sick of it and decided to play Super punch Out. <laughs> yeah, no, that's cool, man. I can dig it. Huh. I guess I miscounted the number of times you go through the world. Apparently, you go through the world one time, get to Taboo, beat all of the bosses, or you get to Taboo after you've beaten all those bosses. And then for the second go-through, you had to go through all the doors and fight a bunch of bosses, and now, you have to go around again! Ah, <sighs> Frustrating. Very frustrating. I do not like this maze, dude. This maze is dumb and stupid, and I don't like it. Am I supposed to go this way? The metal saved me? Yo, the metal is amazing. I appreciate it for what it is. <laughs> Plus five to color splash, maybe one day? Oh man, color splash is definitely one of those games like Sonic 06. And, uh, what was the other one? Like, I don't remember what's on the list, but yeah, it's definitely one of those games I really don't want to play. But, if it gets enough votes, I'll play it, but... Just so you know, I don't want to play it. Colors Splash. <laughs> why, Cole Rocket? Why? Why do you do this? And yo, a nerd with 100 bits says, Gungeon, it's all about the Wizard of Legend. <laughs> yo, Wizard of Legend is another game I really want to play. I forgot about that one. Yeah, Wizard of Legend looks really cool. And uh, let's see, Lacan was saying it's a new boss. It's not a final boss, but it's way harder than the rest of the bosses anyway. Final phases aside, okay. There's like three difficult bosses. Fair enough. And Jaglob says, do I still get my six votes? Yeah, man. If you voted, or you donated, but you didn't claim your votes, man, now's the time to do it. Go for it, my man. Um... Oh, I gotta go this way. But yo, thank you so much, Anura. I appreciate that, man. Yo, Anura OP. Blackman says, apparently the punch-out phase isn't even hard by punch-out standards. <laughs> oh yeah? That's fair. You got me, man. I don't know, I think uh, the punch-out games overall are uh, a bit difficult, without a doubt. Is this where I go? Yeah, there's the door. Uh, thanks, once you circle the maze, it shows you where you need to go to unlock Taboo. Oh, so these are just doors that I missed before then. I could have got these doors, but I missed them. Because I, I didn't see this door here before, but I could very easily see me missing the door. So that's that's fair, that's fine. Plus one to Gungeon? No, plus one to Wizard of Legends. <laughs> Remember, he said it's all about Wizard of Legends. No one wants to see me play Gungeon, that's silly. Blackham says, you want to play Wizard of Legend, but not Gungeon? I want to play both games. Out of the two, I'm more excited to play Wizard of Legend because I've already played Gungeon. And Jake Lope says, who wants my six votes? This one says, me. <laughs> Put them towards Cory in the house? No, don't do that. That's disgusting. That's real gross. There's better things you could be doing. <laughs> Put them towards Ikaruga? That's also a good choice. Ikaruga is a very good game. Patron says, you could have gotten these doors, but you missed them. If you circle the maze, it assumes you're a scrub and lets you know where to go. Yeah, that's fair. That is 100% fair. I, I can't complain about that. <laughs> Put it towards Jet Set Radio? Yeah, that's also a good choice. And yo, a senpai's been lurking for a while. Yo, how you doing, Senpai? I appreciate the lurks. I know it's really hard to, you know, lurk in a stream that's playing Super Smash Bros. Brawl in 2018. Because it's like, oh, yay, Samus, wait, why, why'd she trip? Why is she tripping? 
Thomas, stop tripping. No, I, I understand. And she doesn't have the ladder combo in the Zero Suit. It's 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 a lot of bad times. But she's she's still good. She's still good people, I assure you. Uh so wait, no, maybe I should go the other way? I don't know, this all seems kind of mad to me. Because, like, I can go over to the left to teleport down, to go up. Or, let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five I would need to go versus one, two, three I need to go. Obviously, we go left. <laughs> vomit's a little... <laughs> yeah, no, I, I understand. I understand. The vomit is appropriate. <laughs> this is Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Zero Suit Samus was, she was one of the better characters in the game. She's just, uh... She's just nowhere near as good as Meta Knight, or Ice Climbers, or Snake. But hey man, you know, Smash 4, she's not exactly the highest tier. There's, there's Bayonetta, there's Cloud... Um, oh, he ate my jump! <laughs> well played, little guy! But yeah, there's, uh, who are the other, like, top tiers? I can't remember. Yeah, I know it's like Bayonetta and Cloud, and then Sheik, Diddy, Kong? I'm not, not in that order, but I'm sure they're like up there, and Zero Suit Samus is up there as well. Rosalina... But yeah, ZSS, I believe she got hit by some nerfs at some point. Oh, whoops, I went too far to the left. Thanks cleaning up the games list? <laughs> what is this, Super Mario Bros. X? Yes, yeah, Super Mario Bros. X is some sort of engine that allows you to play fan-made Mario games. Someone wants me to play it, so it's on the list. And Senpai says, lol, nah, Brawl paved the way. This game is the whole reason I play ZSS. Cause you told me if I press X or something, holding Samus would take the suit off. Yes, I think it's um the shield button. It's been a long time since I've done it, but yeah, if you would hold the shield button when you chose Samus, you could play as her, which is super cool. Um, how do I get to where I want to go? It must be this one. <laughs> what are these games? There's a lot of good games there, man, Jake Globes. Have you not played any of them before? That's fair, you know, maybe you should check some of them out. They might, uh, tickle your fancy. Alright, is this the right way? Yep. Now I just gotta go up. Thanks paves the way for the supers. Yo, got to. Thanks, Dixie Kong tomorrow, right? Uh, uh, senpai! I wouldn't place all my bets on a Dixie Kong tomorrow. I really do think Smash Ultimate needs more female characters. Like, there's very few. What do we have? We have, like, Samus two times. Dark Samus does- is not- Dark Samus is not a female. Um, we have, what, uh, Inkling Girl, Robin Girl, Foreign girl, but they're all like, and we fit girl, they're all like, you know, they're not their own character. We have, uh, did I already say Zelda and Peach? And then who else? Um, 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 is that all of them? I feel like I'm forgetting somebody. Oh yeah, Rosalina. Can't forget Rosalina. And like, Sheik is still Zelda. Like, that's the same person. Kazooie is a female? <laughs> Yo, man. Banjo-Kazooie tomorrow, right? Yo, I think Banjo- I think Banjo has a chance. I think Banjo has a legitimate chance. I don't think it's super, super duper likely, but I think it's realistic. I think it's realistic to expect, uh, Banjo. But, there's a couple of other characters I think are more realistic. And those would be, uh, like Skull Kid. I think Skull Kid is, like, a shoe in Um, also, what's the other one? Uh, Gino, I think, is just as likely as, like, Banjo. I think he's more likely than Dixie. If Dixie was gonna get in, she was gonna get in at the same time King K. Roll did. When King K. Roll got in and Dixie didn't show up, I was like, yep, no Dixie. For fresh out. I could be wrong, but I kinda doubt it. I kinda doubt it. Whoops. Yo, why you gotta beat me up so bad? Oh, the elevator crushed me! The elevator was like, oh, you missed me. Would you like me to help you get up? You're, you're not helping me by crushing me into itty tiny bits. That does not help. You thought K. Roll was going to be Dixie? Nah, man. I called it. Were you not? 
Yo, Senpai, you gotta pay attention. I called it two months in advance. I said King K. Roll is gonna be the next character that's announced. And I said after King K. Roll, we're probably gonna get Simon Belmont. And I, again, reiterated the day before they launched, I said it, man. I was like, King K. Roll, Simon Belmont. And we got them both. Just like that. And now I'm calling it. No Dixie Kong, man. No Dixie. He <laughs> thought Dixie would save them from K. Roll. Yeah, that would have been cool. Like, if Dixie was gonna happen, that was the time. That's what all the leaks were saying. They're like, yeah, we're gonna get King K. Roll and Dixie Kong. Or no, it's gonna be the King and the Ponytail character. But I'm not gonna tell you who the King and the Ponytail character are. I don't want to lose my job at Nintendo. And people were believing these leaks, man. But nah, the leaks weren't real. King K. Roll was real, but the leaks were fake. Dixie was fake. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. You can't believe I was right about, uh, Simon? Yo, I can't believe I was right about Simon either. Like, the King K. Roll, I was like, absolutely, definitely. There's no way King K. Roll's not coming in. Simon Belmont, I was like, please, please, please give us Simon Belmont. I know I'm not worthy. I know he's a Konami character, and Snake's already in the game, and Bomberman's an assist trophy, but, like, please, please give us a second character. Capcom gets two, why not Konami? And, and there he was. There he was, I was really hoping for it. Like, I thought it was a possibility. I didn't believe it like super, super powerfully, but I was like, I was really hoping and I thought it was possible. And I, I happen to be right. I happen to be right. We take those. Oops, I should have healed. All this ice, yes, there's a lot of ice. Super Sensor says Peach, Daisy. Oh yeah, I forgot about Daisy. Uh, Wendy, oh <laughs> yeah, I didn't count her cause she's uh, the Koopalines, I forgot about. Completely forgot. Um, oh, Palatina. I forgot about Palatina and Jigglypuff. I got Wii Fit. I got Robin. I got Corn. I got Inkling. Oh, yeah. Pokemon Trainer's a girl now, too. That's true. And Bayonetta. How did I forget Bayonetta? How do you do that? How do you forget Bayonetta? Rayman doesn't need to be in Stinky Smash. Yeah, because he's in Brawlhalla. The real game for all the real kids that are totally not just poor and can't afford Smash Brothers. No, Brawlhalla is an amazing game that every Rayman fan is super in love with. <laughs> Brawlhalla has Rayman. I can't believe that's real. I really can't. You don't want to hear about Brawlhalla? But you love Rayman, Blackham. Doesn't that mean you have to play it? I mean... If you don't support Brawlhalla with Rayman in it, you're just gonna throw the message around in the game industry that clearly the only crossovers that people like are the Rabbids. It's Rayman and Rabbids. Everybody showed up for that one. No one's gonna show up to Brawlhalla for Rayman. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just really funny. Uh, Vinx, um, do you know where you're going? Yes, I'm going to that angry face. I'm almost there. Uh, your internet is straight Garbo right now? Yo, that's no fun in Nura. Here, you gotta get that sorted out if you're gonna play me the Dragon Ball Fighters on Saturday. 12 hour stream hype! You're <laughs> not buying Brawlhalla for Smash. But no, Brawlhalla is a different game. You don't get Smash because Rayman's not in Smash Brothers Ultimate. Rayman's in Brawlhalla. You got it all mixed up, Clackham. <laughs> yeah, for Rayman. And uh, Rayman is better than Smash? Apparently, because he's in Brawlhalla! Oh boy! Yo, man, everybody go grab your Brawlhallas. Let's, let's play our Raymans. Gotta be hype. Yo, legit, I am hype for uh, Rivals of Aether. To be fair, I already own the game, but Shovel Knight is coming out in September. Like, he didn't make it, he's only an assist trophy in Ultimate, which honestly, you know, I'm just really grateful that he showed up in the game in any form at all, because he's an indie character, Nintendo didn't have to do that, so awesome. But, he is playable in a Smash-like game soon. I will be playing that. I don't know how seriously I'll take it, but I love Shovel Knight, and I want to play around with Shovel Knight in a fighting game. Which is interesting, because Shovel Knight is also getting... His own fighting, like, it's so weird, right? Like, Shovel Knight is just all over the world right now. It's like, yeah, he's been showing up in, like, Ukulele and all these random indie games, right? But, like, as far as fighting games go, 
Like, he's a Assist Trophy in Smash Ultimate. He's a playable character in Rivals of Aether. He's a playable character in Blade Strangers, which is already out. You can play Shovel Knight in that game right now. And then he's also, uh, he's getting his own game, like part of the Treasure Trove, Shovel Knight Showdown. You can play as Shovel Knight, you can play as uh, all the other knights of the round cursed table, whatever they call it. It's so cool, like you can be Propeller Knight, um, I don't remember all the other knights. <laughs> but yeah, you can play as any of the knights, and it's a Smash-like platform fighter called, uh, stupid, uh, Shovel Knight Showdown. So cool, man. I'm so excited. I'll definitely play that when that comes out, but that's not till 2019. Troy says, I just realized something dumb. I have a PS4. It's connected to the internet. <laughs> Wait, I don't understand why that's dumb. Oh, can I break through that with this? This stream is uh, disrespecting? I don't remember disrespecting anybody. The Order of No Quarter. Yeah, that's what they were called. Something like that. How do you forget the name? It's amazing. It is an amazing name. Oh, who are you talking to, though? Who are you talking to? How did you forget? Too bad it's local only. Yeah, that's the worst part, man. It's local only. But yeah, nah, man. I'm sure I can, you know find some people to play the game with. I'm sure uh, Super Sin Slayer would probably be interested. And then um, D-Train, if you'll ever come visit me! He's all far away on the opposite side of the United States. Sad times. But yeah, no, nah, we'll, we'll play with the peoples and it'll be great. Troy says I'm gonna download Dragon Ball Fighter Z instead of going to buy it. Yeah, that works too! <laughs> that is completely viable. You know, it's a big old game though, but if you got space, man, do it. I mean, it is the PS4 and not the Switch. Kind of have more space to go around. I'm destroying your hopes and dreams? What did I do? When did I destroy your hopes or your dreams? Just because I'm talking about Shovel Knight? I thought you liked Shovel Knight, Glacken. And Catralius says, uh, Vinks, I feel like we should all stop by and play the Shovel Knight fighting game. <laughs> Yo, man, that would be the best. I laughed at poor Rayman. When did I laugh at Rayman? I just laughed at the fact that, you know, you might be in Brawlhalla and they're, you know, he's not Smash Brothers. But, you know, he's he's doing things. You know, it's not just the Rabbids. Rayman, Rayman's doing things too. He might not have gotten a game in a while, but, you know, I'm sure they brought Rayman Le Legends to like some other platform it wasn't already on. It, yeah, it's on the Switch now, right? See? Bam. Rayman's doing just fine. Is this the right way? Yeah. Samus greater than MJ? Yo, Samus is greater than everybody. Let's be real. Samus OP. Like, it makes me sad that, like, Samus isn't, um, like, a super good character competitively, but I love Samus. I really do. So when I play Brawl, like... <laughs> Like, every time I've got to choose to play a Samus, I always choose Samus. She's just so amazing, man. I like her so much. You only have uh, Samurai Showdown? Oh, that's cool, man. Yeah, I've never... Or, well, I played Samurai Showdown back in, like, the arcade days. But, like, I was a little kid, so I wasn't very good at it. Uh, my dad played that game a lot, though. He was really, really good at it. Like, he would, uh, play in tournaments and stuff and bot people. It was pretty legit. At least, I think it's Samurai Showdown. That's the game with, uh... That girl that wears a gi, it's, like, white and red, and I think she has, like, a bird that follows her around? Maybe a wolf, too. I don't know. She's not the main character, but she's, like, one of them. The main guy is a more, you know, generic samurai dude with a really long sword, but... That could be anything at this point, you know? <laughs> if the game's something else, I could still be describing the same character. Um, Samus is cool? Exactly! Samus is cool! <laughs> you can see those giggles? Yo, look, I only giggle a little bit. It's not a big deal. You gotta be okay with a little giggling here and there. And um, D-Train says, I'm still trying my best to be there Thanksgiving week, thanks. I got the time off approved, but tickets so expensive. Yeah, no, that's that's 100% valid. You're not wrong, man. But yo, you can't, 
You can't not come, man. It's been way too long. It'd be really nice to see you. It's it, I completely understand it. All jokes aside, if you can't come, it's all good. But I, I really do hope that you can. Um, yeah, I think I need to go down this way. Stupid little tiny guys. I need to get out of my way. Is this what I should be doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is great. This is fine. This is dandy. Ouchies. You know what I should play, J Globes? What's that? Uh, yo, Stereo Banks? Why I'm in Stereo? And yes, that is Samurai Showdown. The main character is, uh, Hao Maru. Yeah, I don't know any of their names. I was a little kid when I played that game. Little tiny kid. And yeah, that girl, the reason I remember her is that I'm pretty sure on the PlayStation 1 there's an RPG game, and I think she's the main character in the RPG. I think. Again, I was a little kid. I might remember these facts. <laughs> like, a little incorrectly. Hmm. Bombed himself. Uh, Super Sin Slayer says, Yo, if you want someone for multiplayer action, let me know. See, exactly. When Shovel Knight Showdown comes out, Super Sin Slayer's got her back. I mean, that's a long way from now, but... Local multiplayer, Super Sin Slayer's got my back. Alright, we just gotta go all the way to the right. Like I'm saying, wait, people getting together to play games? So we can go off Gudgeon. Perfect, I'll carry you. <laughs> yeah, no, Glackham, if you ever happen to somehow, in some strange world, be here again, we gotta play Gungeon after we beat Ikaruga, obviously. And I'll carry you through that one. That's only fair, right? Would you stop shooting me? And, uh, controller says, I temporarily had you on my laptop and my desktop. Oh, that makes sense. Fair enough. So would you stop shooting me? <laughs> stop doing it! You don't deserve to be shooting me. You're not on my level. You're not double S tier. <laughs> smart bomb? Real smart. Controller says, there's an RPG on Saturn, I think, but it's only Japanese. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I've definitely seen a lot of Japanese-only games, because I went to a lot of anime conventions as a kid. And also just a lot of my mom's friends had, uh, like, Japanese-only games. But yeah, maybe that's what I'm thinking of? Yo, get body. Wait, can he take that back? He sure can. Yo, we gotta knock out more of those Pikmin, I'll tell you what. Oh, never mind. The bomb was very smart. Recipe Salamis, she'll come back. Rakim says, although we won't be Ikaruga since it's too hard, and that's okay. There are very few games that are too hard for me. Yo, it's not too hard, Glackim. It's easy peasy. I know, yes, I've actually never beaten the game myself, but I'll get it. It's not that hard. I've never, like, sat down and 100 been like, you know, yeah, I'm gonna beat this game. I'm gonna keep playing it till I beat it. I've never done that before. I just kind of played it for funsies with my friends. But yo, nah, man. If I sit down and decide to beat Ikaruga, I will beat it, I promise you. And it will be easy. It's not that hard. How do I feel about Pokemon Stadium? Pokemon Stadium is an amazing game. I miss playing the mini games. The mini games are really cool. I've never done, like, the leagues or whatever. Like, I've never completed any of the leagues, but I would love to play Pokemon Stadium again. It's been way too long. I mean, you really can't go wrong with Pokemon games. I just, I just love Pokemon. Be it like, you know, Pokemon Coliseum, Pokemon Stadium. Um, I'm not that into Battle Revolution. Uh, Pokemon Snap. I won't play Hey You Pikachu. Not again. <laughs> I've been burned. Gosh darn stupid Pikachu would never listen to me. Never listen. Didn't like me, man. Not that Pikachu. I just wanted him to pick up vegetables and give them to Magnemite. Was that was that asking too much? Because I don't think it's